Show, Boom Shakalaka! Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Little Jolly Gamer Show. This is episode 111. My name is Brandon. And I'm Jacob. And I'm Steve. And I don't know why I'm still wearing my glasses, so I'm going to take Your them blue off. blue light glasses? I'm not reading anything here today. And thanks so much for listening to the show. Um, thank you, thank you. If you don't know... <laughs> it's so tired. I'm very tired. If you don't know, we start off the show a new way. Uh, yeah. We I'm like to like read... Gr- game Grumps thing. We, we, I have this, this this box of video game trivia cards. We like to read the questions and reveal the answers at the end of the show. So if you want to know those answers, you got to stay tuned all the way to the end. That means you got to listen to the You got to listen to this entire podcast. So you like that button, hit that subscribe, and push that number. You, you, can't, <laughs> you can't skip to the very end. You got to listen to the whole thing. All right. Well, what do they say? What do they say nowadays? They said, smash that subscribe button. All right, everyone. Question number one. Bandage Girl is the girlfriend of which video game character? And second question. Which famous wrestler had a cameo appearance in Saints Row 4? Saints Row 4. Not 1, not 2, not 3. I don't know. one of these. I never played Saints Row 4. You guys are going to find out at the end of the show. Holy cow. Yeah. But not the listeners. They already knew. that. They, they're like, hey, this is some easy trivia. Y'all suck. Yeah, I'm well, I'm not, I'm not subscribing. Wow. I'm leaving. <laughs> Uns- I'm not only unsubbing. I'm <laughs> subtracting another sub somehow. So. I'm going to go find somebody. I'm going to go angrily unsub I'm gonna, I'm going to threaten someone to unsub <laughs> anyway. All right. So we have a lot to cover. We've got a lot of games to talk about. Oh, yeah. we got a lot of news to talk about. Oh, yeah. What do you guys want to do first? News, games, what do you want to do? Let's, uh, do? let's, let's do it backwards. Let's do the gaming news first. Gaming news first. Jacob, take it away. Um, how, where do you want to start, man? There's a ho- long list. Let's talk about weeks. Sonic Central. Yeah. Sonic Central. Yeah, I have no, no, I have no Sounds news. Sounds like a high school. You all have right. to fill me on that list. Right. Here's all get. you need to know. It's Sonic Central, which is the <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog event uh, that Sega put on to reveal all the new stuff that is Sonic. Uh, they're remastering Sonic Colors, which is a Wii game. They're putting on the Switch. That's pretty cool. That's you know, cool. without the gimmicky. Well, they might still have the gimmicky. Controls. I don't know. Uh, they announced um, a short, like animated short, based on Sonic Colors. That's pretty cool. Uh, they also announced the Sonic Origins pack that comes with Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Sonic and & Knuckles, and Sonic CD, all in one collection for modern consoles, which is really good. Those are all really good games. Yeah. Sonic 3. It's like this. Chef's it's kiss. like this. It's the chef's kiss. <laughs> Uh, mm, that's a spicy Sonic that's game. A spicy meet the bar. In case you didn't know, uh, Michael Jackson actually did the music for Sonic the Hedgehog 3, but got discredited because of the allegations in the 90s. Mm. Mm. That's your video game trivia. Yeah. That that just came out my brain. That came out my brain hole. Uh, and then also they showed this trailer of Sonic running and like these weird symbols popping up, and it said, "There's a new Sonic game, a brand new Sonic game coming out in 2022." And I was like, "You could have saved this announcement." <laughs> because, uh, who cares? Yeah. I, like who's keeping tabs? Like, well, let me go mark my calendars for the new Sonic, Sonic game. In new Sonic is it a Sonic Adventure sequel? And like, I'm not trying to be well, Sonic I, Adventure Three Battle Two. I wish that would be better than Sonic Forces. I want to go back or, to Pumpkin Hill. I yeah. have no affinity for Sonic whatsoever. You can leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Whoa! Uh, I, shut. I, 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 don't, I don't blame you. Modern you Sonic. So <laughs> modern Sonic is hard to uh, to get I into. Didn't ha- I didn't have a Genesis growing up, man. Also, I didn't have. Yeah. I didn't have. I can, look, before. look. Here's if you want to. If you if you're in the same position as Jacob, I think the best thing to do. Oh, is yeah, to get into Sonic Mania. Mania, right. Sonic Mania is like, it takes all the best bits of the yeah. original Sonic trilogy, yeah. adds some new spice to it, and makes it a little bit easier, more um, was that easily accessible. Or 19? Uh, that was in your top five. I think that was 19. Um, but it, it's a really good game. Yeah. It's, it's fun. It's got incredible music. It looks like it, I it looks Sonic like... Sonic music is real, real, real great. I know that. It real, looks like game. the classic Genesis game, but it runs at real like, supersonic great. speeds. It's it's real great, real great. I gotta say, it's a real real great game. But anyway, real that's great. pretty much all you need to know about it's Sonic. It's missing a cas- casino level. And uh, they they detailed some things. They're like, oh yeah, that Sonic uh, thing for Netflix is coming out. Like they basically just oh, said, hey, we're yeah. still working on this stuff. But I just don't understand. Uh, I mean, really, honestly, what I really would have loved to see was Sonic Mania Two. Yeah. Sure. And Steve joked about it, but a Sonic Adventure Three, spiritual. What if they said Sonic Adventure Three? Boom. That would be cool. That'd be fun. I would be down for that. Yeah, I would. I would, I would be day one on that. Where would they? Oh, where would they go? Where would they go with the story? Though I wonder. I'd be good with like a remake. I would say space, but they did that already. Yeah, I know. Um, Maybe I don't, back in town. It's tough, but I think a, I think a remaster would be like a remake. A remake. 
get rid of those crummy parts. Yeah. Basically, anything that's not the Sonic and Shadow levels or the Chow Garden. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic, like, like, Sonic like, Adventure. Uh, and, and Pumpkin Hill. They can leave Pumpkin Hill. Sonic Adventure 2 and that ghost is boss. the best bad game. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so great, but it's also horrible. Oh, well, it's, it's good and bad at the same time. It's like mud. It's like, it like is. dirty. There it is. Is that, is that the time. Dennis Hopper Sonic review? Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much all you need to know about Sonic Man, uh, the Sonic Center. Like President Koopa. <laughs> yeah, um, wait a minute, it's happened before. Wait a minute. <laughs> that's, that's, um, that's, he's in wait the movie. A minute. In the do movies, you, President Koopa. Do you want to go over for the Far Cry? That, the Far Cry and Sonic releases were the only things that I didn't um, Uh Oh yeah, Far Cry 6. I actually, I just watched the trailer come in here. Yeah. One word. Does it look good? One, one word. Alligator in a tracksuit. <laughs> what? There's an alligator with a tracksuit on. At least that's what I saw. He's wearing a really? he's wearing a jacket. You got like a pet alligator. He's wearing a jacket. Oh, okay. I was like, I like the go film. on. I like the <laughs> no, okay. Oh, I like that they casted Gian. I don't know his name. It's it's something Hispanic sounding. Giancarlo or something. What? I don't know. He's what you're from he's from Breaking Bad. Oh, uh, oh Gus. Gustavo. Yeah. You would know that if you'd watch the show! I'm kidding. Uh, he, His uh, character's identified him from Breaking Bad. That, that one guy. I don't, I don't know the actor's name. That one really forgettable character from Breaking Bad. <laughs> He's a good actor, though. He plays, no, he uh, is, he yeah. plays uh, the, 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 the moth in uh, Mandalorian. I can't remember his name. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he is. Yeah, a I know this. I haven't seen him, but I know this. What's, what's, what's his name? Gustavo. It's a really good yeah. Moff Gustavo. Gustavo. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Anyway, no, yeah, he's he's the main bad so guy. So it's so are we in this? We're in this like place that's kind of like kind of this Cuba esque theme. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, this, uh, it's like this. It's like this Spanish. I'm sure it's a fictitious. It's gotta be uh, like Cuba though. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sure it's like this fictitious war torn sure. country that's supposed to be like Cuba, and they probably can't use Cuba because it'll, it'll it'll make uh, political oh, problems. Problems. Uh, but the cool thing is, as it looks like you play as a female protagonist, that okay. is going to sure. be kind of like a scrapper. Like you What's can, my kind of game then, I guess. You, <laughs> you, can, you can build all these cool different weapons. Like Jacob likes to play a female character. Like, look, there's one thing. You know what I love about Ratchet and Clank? You know, uh -huh. the, is the, all the weapons. Everyone yeah. loves the weapons, yeah. and they're so unique that you love to just explore and, and, and fiddle fiddle with them. Mm -hmm. But this one, it, they kind of have this Ratchet and Clank like. Uh, personality into it, like like this flavor, because you can build a, uh, like it looks like you can. I'm not sure if there's like a crafting system for it, but they're like you can get uh, a motorcycle engine and put it on a minigun and make the engine like that's how you make your minigun is by putting okay. some scrap in it. Or my favorite weapon that they showed is a CDR disc launcher that plays music before you shoot them, <laughs> and it's playing Macarena. It's like oh, oh, man, and then whenever right. like you like pew, 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 it shoots the CDR hey, discs. Hey, 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 Macarena. It's like it, it, you're <laughs> reminds me of it reminds me of Dead Rising. Yeah, I that's love, what I, that's exactly what I was thinking. I about. love the combo weapons of Dead Rising. Put a crystal too. And a flashlight together. I got a lightsaber. Yeah, I like. Let's let's get stupid. Maybe with not this. that far fetched. Let's right. get stupid with it because Far Cry Five, while I believe is an underrated game, I agree. It, it teetered on this edge of it. Wanted, yeah, yeah. It, it wanted, wanted to be serious. To be, yeah, it wanted to be serious, but it also wanted to be fantastic and stupid and that right. Saints Row level of stupid. Yeah, but it couldn't. It couldn't find the it, balance. Yeah, and it didn't mesh well for mm -hmm. people. And, and for me, I could. I just. I liked it for what I, it was. I was like, hey, it's a video game. But Enjoy this, it. they're right. going, they're going all in yeah. on, yeah, on like, can, can... like stupid fun. Sure. Like, and not take that same creativity, but for vehicles as well. You make vehicles with like, you can have like an old like Chevy Bel Air looking car with a right. with a snowplow on the front with a machine gun on top. Um, they have uh, pets must be making a return because they show. I saw a screenshot of an alligator wearing a tracksuit. Which is that was cool. Which is cheeseburger. Pretty great. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger was, was awesome. Great. Yeah. Uh, they also showed this little puppy. I guess that has no legs and has a little cart behind him. And it follows you around. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Um, uh, yeah, and then like of course it's gonna have like some like serious storyline about yeah. being in uh, a country that War had a failed Civil revolution right. fifty years in the past and all sure. this. And so it's gonna have. Have revolution. I'm sure you're gonna have. Um, like these factions Political undertones. and stuff. Yeah. Um, I I really wish I could I had time to read all this. Before we got zero the show, uh, is there a release? I'm surprised I never got into oh, it. Just uh, October. Really? Yeah, October this year. I'm sure there's gonna be multiplayer. Uh, one of the cool things they're saying is that you can play the missions in whatever order you want. Ooh. So instead of having to go and do this one and do this one. Well, the great the great thing, Steve, is that none of them are, are related. The themes are all kind of the root. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they've got some, I mean, they got some I, recurring characters, I do like but the, you don't have to I do like jump the idea in. Of it. Uh, I, I have five. Brent gave me five for the PlayStation. Oh, I have no interest in playing. I'm spoiled by the SSD. I don't want to fire up the PlayStation 4 because I don't want to wait. 
ten hours. Oh, I was game. about to say something, but I, 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 I totally just remember. I was gonna say, well, you just put on the five, and it'll. I was like, I don't have five. <laughs> I was like, oh man. I'm done. And I have a PC. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, I love my PC. I'm totally fine with the PC. You should get on PC. It goes on sale pretty often. I'm I, sure it's I, probably I, on sale now because of the reveal. I hope they. I mean, they probably won't because that's the Far Cry, Far Cry flavor. But I hope they steer the story a little bit more. Yeah, I'm because sure they will. I'm, open world with Far Cry's, that's the thing. It's for, open world Far Cry, they, they go together. But yeah. sometimes that tends to... I, I think that's why I bounced off of 5, maybe, because well, it just... In the trailer I watched, um, it seemed like they are getting a little bit more... Like, like I think the girl you play as is the orphan that is in the original trailer, the, the little kid. Yeah, where you saw I, I, right. I think that's the same person. I don't okay. know. I don't I know this. I don't sure. know this. But apparently she has some kind of connection with... Gustavo, yes, character. and it's gonna be connected that way. Um, other than that, man, it looks really cool. I, I saw some stuff in the trailer that I can only speculate on. Like, uh, there's one part where they're, like, they're talking about, like, oh, you gotta follow the dirt trails or whatever to find your find these secrets or whatever. And so, like, she has a map in hand, and like, there's no GPS. You're just following landmarks and stuff. That seems really cool. I like that. I can do that. Uh, and I love like just bring back everything. Like, I, one thing I really appreciated from Five that. It seemed like everybody was too busy poo-pooing on that game to give it credit for was that there's no more climbing up towers and revealing the map. It was just you explored and you found maps in these areas. Like yes. You found this old abandoned gas station that was now a compound for bad guys. You went in there, you killed them all, and you found a map, and it revealed... Yeah, somebody said, hey, I got a bunker with a bunch of guns. Yeah, and, and, and then we reveal all the stuff in the area to do. Yeah. And so, like, I would prefer that instead. Because, firstly, it's rewarding you for your exploration. And secondly, it's not as tedious and boring as climbing up every single radio tower. Which I know Far Cry 3 is like praised as the best one, but climbing up those towers gets old quick, especially when all you want to do, like, I'm the kind of person, I want to run everywhere and reveal the map first and then go yeah. explore. And doing that is just rough. It's yeah. really rough. Uh, but other than that, uh, I it think. It looks really good. I, I, I mean, I, I, I like what I saw. Does, oh, we just, forgot to does it look, does, is there some verticality to, verticality oh, I'm, to this? I'm one? sure there is. Because uh, there always is. Well, I mean, there was airplanes and helicopters in five. I'm sure they're going to put aerial stuff in there. Uh, it looks like it's kind of in my gonna be most No, I meant like, like um, because it being it was Montana. It was fake Montana in five. There was, there's always, and then four, of course, four is nothing but a mountain. Yeah. Um, but I was just curious, like, there's, is it uh, flat? Because it oh, was kind of. If it's going to be an urban setting, flat. it's going to be difficult. Well, to yeah. it, it showed, like, some beach settings, like, okay. like some I was Cozumel type looking beach. Yeah. You know, um, going to the, going back to that tropical list. Yeah, uh, I thought I thought it was really refreshing for five to go to like a, a to America because right. you know, every other yeah, one yeah. is is exotic, and that's the whole point of Far Cry: is exotic locations. Uh, but yeah, we got to go back because I don't I don't want the next one to be in New York, right? Or, sure. or anywhere else. Yeah. I thought it was a great setting for five. Um, we can talk talk deep about five some other time. But uh, last thing, uh, one thing looks like that they're implementing as a new weapon type, which is backpacks you wear. Okay. And so I think that's a really neat idea because. It's something that you can implement, kind of like the Doom guy uh, in the Doom games has the shoulder-mounted weapons. It's just something oh, that's okay. built into your character, and it looked like like there was one that she used that she kind of like hunkered down and shot like mortar shots out and like oh, and did an air strike. You are serious? They're digging and, deep. And there, yeah. she had like a flamethrower backpack wow. jetpack thing. They are going all out into the uh, like yeah. just just go look. At, we'll have to watch the trailer. Okay, it, it, I'm telling you, man. Uh, I really wish I would have had enough time to research this. Yeah. But literally, that yeah. trailer dropped this morning, and we just got in here. Well, that got, so. that's got me a lot more interested because I just I saw six and I saw Gasavo and I saw the, just a little bit of you know snippets of, of footage. And like, eh, I don't know. But this is... games are hard to judge until you get your hands on them, but yeah. just just go give that trailer okay. a watch. Sure. You might change your mind. And, I mean, it's got me more interested than even than five did, because five five was it was the setting on five that made me excited. Yeah. Um, like the the I mean, Oregon is a very pretty place, mm-hmm. uh, but this one I don't need the pretty place anymore. Now I just want the fun. Well, the fun, yeah. Because, and that sounds like it's because doing. after playing all the DLC, uh, that was really really. This and five as a game, they can go so many places with this, the laser guns and and all this crazy crap. Like, let's just go ahead and jump the shark, sure, or jump the alligator in the track suit. Anyway, that's your Far Cry Six. <laughs> there's, your, there's your title. That's your Far yeah. Cry Six. Jump the alligator uh, in the track suit. Brandon recap. Uh, okay, we, we can keep going with these big reveals. Uh, you want to jump into the Dragon Quest, maybe? Uh, I didn't see this. Oh wait, wait, yeah, I did. Um, remind me. So, the, so Square released a couple of things. I didn't look too much into many of them, except so for the, the 3D, 2D, or the, the HD 2D. Yo, dude, I'm so tired. I thought you were talking about Dragon Age. No, Dragon Quest. Dragon Age. Dragon Age. Everybody, welcome to Brandon's Prepubescent. 
Uh, uh, podcast. <laughs> anyway. uh, but no, they, they, Square released um, Dragon Quest. Square's been busy. They have. Yeah, they Square have. has been very busy. They have. I want to say that to begin with. And that's good because there was a point in yeah. time where they were very not busy. Yeah. yeah. And they, really, they went a few years where it's just like, what are they even doing? Yeah. And it's because like, they're, hey, you know they're too game. busy making every Final Fantasy 13 game and mm. it wants follow ups for, for 80 Hearts. years. Yeah. Why, is that, why did they pay so much time yeah. in that game, I wonder? Uh, no yeah. comment. But they released uh, Dragon Quest Twelve: The Flames of Fate, um, which is uh, uh, basically a teaser, just saying, "Hey, the next yeah, one's coming, coming, and it's gonna be more serious and kind of dark." Yes, Ooh. for Dragon Quest. For Dragon Quest, that's a kind of a big deal, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, they also announced it, they announced a uh, spinoff from Eleven, which is called Dragon Quest Treasures, where uh, the roles of Mia and Eric, their, their it's siblings, kind of, kind of a cutesy game. Yeah, that was a like chibi a, cutesy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but the one that looks really cool is they're remastering, or I say remaking. Uh, Dragon Quest Three, they call it the HD 2D remake, and it's got that those hints of the Octopath Traveler. So dude, it's the yeah. same exact game, but in that 2D dude, 3D. That's pretty cool. Dude, it looks really good. So I've always been around Dragon Quest. Yeah. I've always <laughs> known about Dragon <laughs> Quest. Right? I've never dipped my toe into the pool. Yeah, same here. I've gotten close with Dragon Quest Builders. Yeah, and yeah this was really fun too. It was especially. just one of those games where, like back in the day, it's it's you kind of. You played one or the other, and, and I was a Final Fantasy kid. Yeah, so. sure, okay, yeah. Uh, I've seen it, see. and I was always like, wow, this is really cool. It's like Final Fantasy with Dragon Ball Z uh, art style, but it's like yeah, I never pulled the trigger That, that Akira Toriyama art style is, and one of the things, like, Chrono Trigger shares that same yeah, art style. Sure. I remember seeing yeah, it. I sure like, does. I always wanted to get it because I, I love that art style. All, all very, us very Dragon similar. Ball nerds back in the day loved the Akira Toriyama stuff, oh, yeah. and this looks to be... This is going to be my gateway drug into Dragon Quest, I think, because... I think I might actually try this. I mean, it's not... What is it about Dragon Quest that turned me off? Nothing, really. It just, just, it just, it just never was, happened. Yeah, it was a victim it just, of opportunity. It just ne- fantasy happened, and we just never had... It just never happened yeah. that I played one, because, like, I always saw it. I saw it at Blockbuster yeah. back in the day. And I, I mean, remember, we had to pick and choose our games carefully, because we had our parents getting them for us. Yeah. Right, and it was an RPG, and I, it was just, like, a universe I didn't know. And yeah. now I'm ready... Because, I mean, I know enough about Dragon Quest to get into yeah. it. Yeah, sure. And it's intimidating whenever they have so many hours. You're just like, well, I don't like, want where, to jump in a four where, or five. Where do right. I start? Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. Uh, some people right. like, oh, don't play eleven. It's the newest, but it's not the best. Yeah. And you're like, well, why not? It's, oh, because the music didn't come over from the other side, from you know, from the east. And you're like, oh, well, what am I supposed to play? But right. this, this a good, looks good segue. It looks yeah. like, um, it looks like, like you said, Octopath Travel. I'm a sucker mm-hmm. for that little diorama. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. And I love the way the battle look with the first person. Yeah. And all. I'm ready. I'm yeah. ready for it. When's it come out? Do you know? Uh, it no, they didn't. They didn't nope, give nope. a release. Where's it come out? Yeah. Uh, they and if they did, if they uh, yeah, right. and forgive me, if they gave a release, I must have missed it. But and th- so yeah, the, also, this is the one that has Erdrick in it, which is the uh, the one that everybody was like, "Oh, he's gonna be the Smash character," and he was. Yeah. He, he, he was the Eleven guy first, yeah. but then they were like, "Oh yeah, by the way, Erdrick's here because yeah. he's the coolest." Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, the music. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to be yeah. a Dragon Quest I, guy. I know. I know. Builders is really. It's not. It's. It's in I the universe. My <laughs> I took my slime. It's in the universe, but it's got really nothing to do with well, the Dragon Quest. You, you kind of know familiar. Like, it's like, like Chocobos to you know to the slime yeah, the Chocobo yeah, Boogles. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, but Rip Builders was really really fun. I put like sixty hours in that game. A you good, did. Yeah, a I really want to hop on to that yeah. with you, but I never. It's could. a good game. It's on yeah, sale that's right, right now. You can co-op it. It's um, on sale right now. Think about it. Think about it. All right. Think about so, it. I I I bounced off of the first one, and I got watching this trailer. I was like, oof. So Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden West. No. This game looked good. Yes, it does. This game it looks good. really I'm good. Just not interested. So. <sighs> I mean, I guess I gotta give it a shot. No, I, just, I don't know. Look, it's okay because I bounced off. I, yeah. I, I, I feel you, but like this one just. It's on really PC, looks. so I guess I should yeah, it's gonna it be, on it's PC. Gonna Absolutely. Be. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to experience it better than we were able to. Yeah. Because it'll be a, uh, it'll be better. Um, I've almost thought about because they have the up, the HD upgrade for the PlayStation 5 upgrade for uh, Horizon, the first Horizon. Oh. Yeah, it's supposed to. Oh, I think so. I'm pretty sure. Had, had, had pretty sure it's got an upgrade. But I'm thinking about going back to go ahead and finish it because of this, man. Um, so the trailer, uh, the trailer starts off just like Aloy, she's in trouble. Uh, where one of those, one of those uh, stereotypical E3 run through. Yeah, game starts with a cutscene, and then of course it zooms out, and they're like, "Oh, I can take control of the character." Um, so you're, you're obviously we're somewhere on the coast. We're somewhere you're in, the, in, you're in the Forbidden West. Yes, we're on the, and I love. If you notice, they 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 totally play on the, the like 
Islander Pacific theme. Yeah, like yeah. all of the Raiders have much very more of those poppy, bright, yeah, bright yes. colors, and yeah, uh, I, I noticed that. Yeah, um, and like I was just noticing and just watching this, and I know. And, it, it probably happened the same way, but like I was watching Aloy like move through the red grass, the high grass, and like her hair was blending, like the way yeah. the hair, the, the wind was blowing her hair with the grass. Yeah. Whereas this, like in the, in the first one, it was like her, her red hair, like her flaming red yes. hair was in the green, green bushes. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, how did not see? Me? How did not see me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how so, did not see my pale white skin? Right. Um, but so the. To add to it, obviously, they're adding new toys. So she's got a grapple hook now. Yeah. She's got a glider. Yeah. Uh, and then she's got a rebreather. So, the, of yeah. course, the big thing is you can go underwater, which was so cool because you're from underwater. You're from underwater. Hi. There, there's a, underwater. There's this apparently, apparently, they, they call them machines, right? So the robots. Uh, yeah. Apparently, they're waterproof because the, they can just doggy paddle. Well, we knew, in we the knew water. that. Remember well, the, yeah, remember that's the, right. Remember the, I didn't, the alligator I didn't, ones? That's, 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 that's the alligator right. ones. But I was like, that scene where she jumps in the water and those, those uh, they call them claws. Yeah. They got the new flying ones. Yeah. Flying. They got yeah. raptors. They, they got the big, the big mammoth. The raptors the with a chainsaw mandible. Yeah, chainsaw. Yeah. yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, yeah, and robots. <laughs> and it looks like they're still doing the whole like. And break. they got that walrus one. They probably do. <laughs> that uh, would be cool. I'd they, be okay with well, that. Well, they had the, <laughs> they had the ice one, the ice DLC. Yeah, that's yeah, right. They made, I don't know. I didn't play that one. There might be a walrus in there. Um, but uh, yeah. So yeah, did, I, did am I just? So far out of uh, her, uh, the first Horizon, that because uh, when he was when she was engaged in fighting those raiders and she was shooting that guy, like the parts of the armor seemed like they were blinking. I don't think that happened in the first. I don't one. think so either. I think they implemented the, the breakable components to the people now. Okay, well. okay. So, so, so I read into that the same way. you Yeah, did. yeah. I think okay. I think they're making it to where like combat with people is a little bit more intimate and in, yes. in, like you're not just like. Headshot, headshot, yeah, headshot, 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 headshot,
apart the dinosaurs. Yeah, it's so fun to, to, to whittle them down. Like, like if you see the big T-Rex thing, you're like, I'm going to shoot the turret off of his back and use that to shoot off more of his armor and expose his weak points and stuff like that. And now with these, these extra tools, mm-hmm. like, do you see those, like, goopy bombs? No, I've missed that. Like, she, she shoots the goopy bombs and they all get tangled up and they oh, can't move. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, also her little, um, her little piece, her little ear piece can, like, reveal climbable yes. stuff now. Which, that's, that's really cool because cool, now it's a verticality thing with the, with the grapple hook. I'm yeah. to look into it. I'm the game go looks, it, it looks amazing. phenomenal. Good the gosh, only thing is that I'll say about this, only negative I'd say, I'm not fully convinced that this is, like, 100% actual um, gameplay, just like in okay. the way that Last of Us 2's reveal was similar to the finished product. I'm I'm still convinced, mainly just her, like, running and, and from those bad guys at the same time. It's like, obviously, that's a scripted scene in the game. But yeah, like, where she's shooting the guy, and then all of a sudden he does the cut scene where he charges We're at that up, point yeah. where it's, it's yeah, pretty dang fluidly close. Move into because it. Yeah. Last of Us 2, like, if you go back and watch the demo and you, and you go to the full game, it's pretty dang close. close. I mean... They they prettied it up for the demo, like, yeah. like the animations and like how she was like like the cursor was on the screen, the way she was animating, pulling the bow back is like that's not how it really ended up. Yeah. Yeah. But it was pretty dang close, and we're 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 at that yes. juncture yeah. in video gaming where yeah, I, I might be wrong that this was hundred percent real. I don't know. Yeah, and the Last of Us was a four, it was a four thing. So now we have the power, right? The Last of Us yeah. two and revealed that right that was under the four. It was engine. very late four. Yes, very, yeah. which has a PS five upgrade I've been, yes. been flirting with. I don't know about it, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe. Especially with that 4K. Um, oh, yeah. So where do you want to go from there? Um, that's really... Okay, we can keep going down that same where path. Dying Light 2. Finally, we heard something Finally! about Techland. Good Finally! Gosh. I thought that game was getting canceled. Yeah, well, there was a global pandemic. Yes. Yeah, that is true. There was um, Chris Avalon, the writer, with the oh, yeah. allegations. Allegations against him. That right. was a long time. I mean, this is like Ooh. over... Like a, yeah. I'm, 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 that's news to me. Yeah. That was a while back. What's uh, his name? Let me look it up. Chris, Chris Avalon. Avalon. He's the writer Avalon. for this game, and he was the writer for Fallout New Vegas. Mm-hmm. All like the best games with the best writing. Yeah. Uh, but there was that. Uh, but I mean, the trailer we saw. I don't know if it was just me, but like. I thought we already knew all the information they showed me. Like, oh, you got the three main factions, the world changes. Well, they t- so I don't know because it's been so long since I saw the trailer. The first part of it shows it says 2019 E3 demo, and it says it on the very bottom when you're watching uh-huh. it. But towards the end, that goes away, and I'm looking at some of the footage and going, wait a minute, I don't remember some of this. So, like, do we? I don't know if we remembered it. Reve- so they reveal there's some new new baddies. Like, there's like the, looks like there's all kinds of different um, yeah, there's all zombies kinds- now. Yeah, or, yeah. Or I don't know if they things. showed that. I know they showed the, the factions and the world. Yeah, changing, the faction change. Like, I think that was all we got from the E3. So this yeah, seems more yeah. like about the combat, about the parkour. Um, parkour. Is it the same character? No. Okay, I didn't think so. They made it seem like it was gonna be the same That's character in the original trailer and the first trailer, but I. I it was so. Man, I, I couldn't even. I couldn't tell you because it seemed to me like um, he was pretty first, blank. Character. When it first came yeah, out, he was pretty boring. When it, when, it, when it first came out, they're like, "It's not green. It's not the same guy." Okay. And then there, then I saw a trailer, and I was like, "And then they're like, it's crane." Yeah. And it's like, I thought it wasn't crane. Yeah. And this and one, they, like, they said his name. Crane. They said his name. It was just oh, like okay. Aiden Walker or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, video games apparently here lately like to make big bad guys with hammers because there's a lot of those zombies in this one. Like, it just seems to be big the thing. Big hammer zombies. Big hammer zombies. Um, Stop. Hey, Resident Evil did it first. Stop. Yeah. Hammer time. <laughs> Resident Evil uh, did it first. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, December 7th for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. And that's both versions. So hey. Last gen and current hey. gen. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited because this game... That parkour was good. And if, Dude, it, Dying Light's really dude, good. Dying Light 1 is really good. Really, dude. really that's good. And they've been supporting that game. That game is still supported to you the know, day. Well, you know what's crazy is like, you know, Dead, the, the Dead Island fiasco, we've all talked about the podcast and we all know about it. And then yeah. we all got burnt and soured. And then remember, a demo came out and we're like, let's try it. And we're like, and they look, oh, they wow. look so similar. And then, but then you play and you're like, wow, this is night and day different. This is a thousand times better. Than Do you that think game. the co-op is going to return? It's got to come gotta back. It's got to be, because that's one of the gotta, best parts of that game. Yeah, yeah, it's got to come back. Co-op. And then also, um, I wonder if vehicles are going to come back. Because they did, they they did the DLC, yeah. yeah. Um, I Dude, that game it. had so many memorable moments just from the story and, <laughs> and then the, the funny glitches. I think, I think, the yes. I think that, um, we don't do glitches. I think that, the garbage bad fall. Yeah, dude, it had, it had that, like, multiplayer, like, stupid fun. Oh, yeah. Factor yes. to it. Oh, yeah. Uh, but it also had that serious, like, do you remember that, that, uh, prison DLC that came out where like you have to run to the prison you to, and you basically have to speed run your they way speed to the run, and you had to open all the keys before the gas got you yeah. yeah yeah like that was fun so like they added like the playability to the game mm-hmm. uh, they added that whole new like 
island, the, the following. Yeah. I've you never know, played it. You know what would be interesting? If, 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 if Like you said, if, if we're going to do the co-op, and it's going to be there, like, of course, the big thing about this game is, obviously, the first thing we, ne- we heard from it when they announced it is the um, the factions and the way the world changes. So it would be really neat to go, okay, Brandon's going to go with the, the police state people. I'm going to go with these hippie guys. <laughs> it's funny because, like, yeah. I looked at all these, I was like, Clearly, you want to go with the survivors because uh, right. they're not a holes like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it's like you might be able to help these like police dudes. Uh, you might not like them, but they they put some pretty cool stuff out there. Yeah, yeah. And if anyone goes with the bad guy, you're just you're just a psychopath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I want there. I want there. I really hope that there's like a like an enticing factor to each. Even this guy, I'm sure there is. Sure. Be like, hey, if you if you clear out this this water in this area, you can go down and get some really rare treasures and explore yeah. that area. Or you can keep the water there because we're using it for irrigation or something, and yeah. you can help this community. Like. Well, I don't want to help y'all because I want treasure. I want yeah, that guy's exactly. big hammer. Yeah. I want an alligator in a tracksuit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's. I think we're at the. We're at the. What's crazy is you know this is this is the the the, the, the quiet before the E3 yeah. storm. Ooh, where I love ooh. it. Yes, I love it. But you gotta be careful because the leaks start going. Yeah. yeah. Right. So um, ooh, speaking wee. of speaking of rumors, can we talk to it a little bit? Did you hear this about the Tony Hawk rumor? I heard a little bit. So apparently, Jess Margera was doing an interview with some dude on a podcast. Who's Jess Margera? Jess Margera is Ben Margera's little brother. He's a drummer for CKY. So the, I thought he was older. Maybe maybe older. He's but he's he's a he's a right, he's a sibling. He's related another way. Yeah. And so the the guy Sorry, asked him. He goes, "Hey, were you on? You know, you guys were on some of the Tony Hawk games before." And he got and his response was, "Yeah, and we're doing that new one as well." So if you remember Tony Hawk Three, they were on that one. And he said, "So I don't. It's a rumor. There's nothing confirmed. It slipped up." But he may have slipped up. What if they're redoing three? Hey. Would that pave the way? Now four, hey. four is. Hey. 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 Four. I want. I want. Thug one and two remastered. That's what I want. Yeah. But. But. Yeah. Um, could it be? I mean, because man. Two, I mean, look. It's the logical answer. Yeah. It's like uh, it, the one and two re- uh, remake came out. It it blew everybody's it, socks off. Yeah. It, it had really great reviews. Yeah. It sold really well. It has the PS5 upgrade. Yeah. It's it's on like every platform. In all honesty, they don't need to make a new one. I mean, no. It's already, it's already tried and true. There's no reason I mean, to make honestly, a brand new one. You just. Do- I would love to see yeah. them integrate those. Those games, like you, if you own one and two, you can just buy three and have it integrated with the, sure, the same perfect, app. Yeah. So you can just you can play all the levels. Uh, that's honestly what they should have done. Was they should have made like a a free man. This Tony Hawk Pro Skater Legend. They should have made four. just Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, yeah. and they should have made it a free application that comes with like one level and one character. It comes with Tony Hawk and it comes with the warehouse. Mm-hmm. And then you can buy all the levels and you buy all the campaigns and you buy all it separately. That would have been the best way to do it. Now look, I'm, I am totally okay with just buying a whole other game. Yeah. But if they do three, they should do three and four. Like yeah. they did one and two. Yeah, yeah I think so. And that, that seems to be the consensus that it's going to be three and four and then maybe possibly down the road Thug 1 and 2. Which is... Nice. Yeah, it would be... It's going to be interesting because if Jess Margera is confirming this then we can only assume that Bam Margera is going to be in it. But he was not featured in any of the uh, imagery in mm-hmm. one and two. Now that might just be a licensing thing. Yeah, yeah. They, they they may not have cut him out because I mean he is kind of doing some controversial stuff right now with his his personal life. Yeah. But I don't think they would have cut him out. I think it's just because he was not in one and two. But yeah, I they they put the posters up in the hangar two level, and it has um, like Tony Hawk's Underground, and in the the cover art for Tony Hawk's. Underground 2 has Bam Margera and Tony Hawk on That's it. That's right. And they cut him out of it. But that, I think it's because... That's gotta he, be licensing. I think it's licensing with his... Like, you probably can't put him in the game without... You know, his permission. Him, yeah. right. and, and it's probably difficult to get his permission right now anyway. Yeah. Right, so they probably just, just edited him out of that one picture and called it a day. Yeah. It's the safer... It's the but safer... Still, this... Decision. But if, it, if it's, it's a real thing... It's a real rumor. I, mm. I think it's a no-brainer they should do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah. they, should, they should not screw it up. Exactly. Um... So, uh, let's see, let's see what else. Um, let's go to, if we're talking about rumors still, uh, not really rumors, but Ooh. there it is, you see it, don't Ooh, you? Ooh, I see it! Final Fantasy Origin. Ooh. So, uh, Neo developer Team Ninja is developing a spin-off Final Fantasy game. Uh, it's the original Final Fantasy, right? One, right? Is, okay. that, is that what they're saying? I mean, fi- so there was a Final Fantasy Origins but this is origin, like the the the, um, the warrior of light. I think is the, the action name of adventure around. game based mm-hmm. in the Final Fantasy universe. That's not turn based, and it's more kind of towards that Dark Soulsy a, so, flavor that yes. people seem to like seem so to much. Like. But here's the cool thing: is yeah, that the they worked on Dissidia 
Final Fantasy and team. Mm-hmm. And so they've already got their hands at their cooperation with Square already. Uh, and then they've also stated that it's going to be for, ex- they, they say the quote unquote, accessible for a wider audience, which only means that it's going to be that Souls, like you said, combat, but maybe not so crushing. Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me. Look, I'm on, on. I'm on the turn base wagon. I'm on the Final Fantasy wagon. It's on. I love it. It's on. I'm for it. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the family, Welcome son. Welcome <laughs> to the family, son. Uh, uh, yeah, dude, this looks great. And oh, absolutely. Read that last oh. one. A, a, a rumor of a demo this summer. Oh! It's a rumor. Because uh, Neo 1 and 2 both put alphas out way ahead of their their releases for, for each one. So if we're, if we're, if we're going to do that same blueprint that Team Ninja did, then very, this is I'm very excited. This this E3 has potential to be very, very good. Yes. Yes, it do. No, no glitches. No glitches. No glitches. No glitches. Um, so I'll, I'll, I probably glitches. should have saved that one for last, but uh, let's go to some other things. I want to mention this real quick, and I know you guys might not care as much. So for a while, there there was talks that like, hey, is Overwatch 2 even going to be a thing I don't anymore? Care. Um, <laughs> but they came so out. I, I saw this. Blizzard came out and stated that they're actually moving. So you, you we all know Overwatch, the generic makeup is how many on a team? What do you think of it? It's a, I can't remember, a, six, a 6v6, 6v6. Right? <laughs> And normally the makeup lets you have... i played this game so many times. Especially the eSports level, the, the makeup yeah. is they let you have two tanks, two DPS, two heals. Yeah. Well, they're shaving it down to five and, oh. and two. So oh. And so the, the running joke is that one tank is getting kicked in the eSports arena. So yeah. it'll only be one tank, two heals, two DPS. Um, yeah. So, yeah. but the the point is the reason that this is brought up in the news is it, and we already knew this with the PVE, right? The, yeah. That was the real push in the two. But it really, I really feel like Blizzard is trying to really, sh- not so much take away from that esports competition, but they're really trying to bring it this game back to like yeah. the scrubs, the casual people, the the uses, the yeah. John Q gamers that because for me, like <laughs> the sorry people, the, sorry, <laughs> the people that suck. Uh, <laughs> um, but I mean, all of us, right? Yeah. Especially me and yeah. you. It, it, we fell off when it just got super heavy into that esports thing, yeah. man. and I think they 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 really realized that they drove their their base away. <laughs> they, they, I was they just thinking, to... I, was, I had a skit in my head. I just okay. played. I was like, I was, I was thinking about the time that I fell off Overwatch. Is remember I was like really desperate to get some cool skins. Uh, I really oh, that for oh, and I was no. I, really oh, bring, I, I put ten I put ten dollars. Hey, you know what? I got this game pretty much. I think I got it for free. Did I get? I got it for like a really good deal. I got it for yeah. like. Five or ten dollars, okay. and I, I was like, you know, I'll spend ten dollars, and then everything I got was trash. And I was just like, f this. I never, I don't think I've played it again. Uh, no, you haven't played. I don't it. think I've ever played you it. Had a you run, really wanted you had that a shield run with Tyler, skin. and y'all played some, some oh, stuff. Dude, I really me. wanted that shield made skin because I played Brigitte really all the cool. time. I was so dang good with Brigitte. Man. But see, that's the cool thing is that game at its heart has got some really core gameplay that's fun. It's think so about all the epic fun, moments. Dog. There are so many epic moments that we had that Seth had and I. Uh, just in the competitive yes, dude, There's zone. nothing more fun than like jumping up and surprising your friends, and be like, "I got this," and your Pharaoh, and yeah. you do your air aerial Justice ultimate. Justice rains from above, and like you pull out some <laughs> epic stuff. You know, it, it really is die, an incredible game. Die, 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 die! It really is an incredible game. Yeah, man. But so, and but this this makeup too is really cool because yeah. like, I'll think about it too. Five, it's a lot easier to get five people together now, than it is six. Have y'all heard also? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Did y'all hear about Jeff Kaplan too? Yeah, yeah, Jeff, yeah so Jeff Kaplan, he hey. left. I wonder what that's... Dog. Is, is that indicative of anything? Is, there's, there's been a massive exodus of people. I can't Blizzard. think of the other guy. There was three of the big there's guys. There's a World Warcraft guy that left just recently. No, well, so. well um, Metzen left. Uh, right. Now Jeff left. And there's one of the like the main like Trinity guys. And he's still there. Um, so, but with Kaplan, Kaplan was the face of Kaplan Overwatch. Was the... Steve, yeah, Steve, as so. the Blizzard expert uh, of all of us, what do you think is going on? It's a, it's it's corporate takeover by Activision. Ah, there it is. Corporate right. t- takeover. I mean, literally, that's what's happening. I mean, I mean, they haven't really come out and said it. But look, here's the thing, and they ticked off a lot of. They want to make good, passionate Crusade. games, and you know, the, cool. the people who started Blizzard want, like Brandon was saying, they wanted to put their passion into it. They want to bring gaming back. They want to bring Blizzard back to where what, it was. But they want to so make in Diablo mobile games. Activision is just like money. Money, Chinese market, money. Look, they, I get you it. See, the Chinese like, Chinese market loves World of Warcraft. They love mobile games, so we're gonna give them World of Warcraft. We're gonna give them mobile Diablo. Look, and, and here's the American, the Western audience, just like, hey guys, we're here too. They're like, hey, I don't care about y'all. This game, <laughs> looks, that's what they're doing. I get it. I, I get it. It's a business. It's a business. 
But you gotta make good game, good games. Exactly. Look, I would tell you this much, okay? There is a difference between wanting to make a profit and putting out a good product. If you are a good business person, you can turn a profit by putting out a good profit. The problem is, Activision Blizzard, whatever is going on over there, they're just they're not caring about that. They are cutting people off left and right. What they're doing, and it's despicable as a company, to be honest with you. Like, I if if they really if they don't turn things around, I might have to I might have to cancel WoW. And, and I know it's a big deal. I love WoW. WoW is always gonna have a special place in my heart. But the thing is, is it's just become so frustrating. Because it's like for, for the listeners, I got like one centimeter from Jacob's face with <laughs> wide eyes. Look at each other. Well, I mean, it's I mean, it's a big deal. Steve wants to quit WoW. I don't want to quit WoW. I don't. It's a statement. I love WoW, but the thing yes. is, is that they are. You know what they're doing, man. And I mean, I don't want to go too off. They're pooing. But this is in relation to uh, to Overwatch. They're basically finding ways to cut off veteran veteran workers mm. to bring in new faces. So they ain't they're, they're probably like, hey, this is working. <laughs> This is working, so can we just keep this going? That's, it's not confirmed, but that's my speculation because you've got big. They're, they're, they're just like another round of layoffs at Blizzard, look, and here's the look, CEO look, of Blizzard me. talking about uh, one one hundred thousand two hundred million two one hundred thousand two hundred million three. One captain is captain big fat. Side fat. note: My father worked for Bass Pro. Okay, this has got just stick with me. <laughs> stick with me. He uh, is had been a, he's in the fishing department. He was assistant manager, working his way to manager. Benefits everything. And been in fishing his whole life. Mm-hmm. People came to him because they want to talk fishing, and he knew what to what to get, where to where to hook him up with. Yeah. Bass Pro started making corporate cuts, hire, fire, cut back a lot of the managers, took their benefits, and started hiring high schoolers. Yep. If I'm 68 years old and fishing my life, I don't want to talk to you because yeah. I don't know your experience because you ain't got none. Yeah. What do you think's a better fishing bait, <laughs> wiggle worm or garlic bait? Garlic. <laughs> so and they'd be like, but that, but I, uh, I mean. But I mean, that's what I think. That's, that's what I think Blizzard's doing. That's, that's I really what's do. On. I really do. I really do. Like uh, honestly, like I think they're like they're like, hey, veteran uh, game designer that's helped bring that was like the reason why World of Warcraft was so successful. You're done. Bye. I, just, nice I hate you. to see Overwatch have such a huge player base and, and such a great game, like such great gameplay, and to have just the weakest events I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Every Halloween, hell, you want to go play Junkenstein's Revenge again? Yeah. In, 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 Why that, this character now? Or Overwatch really now, now needs you, a single-player mode. Now you can play as Farrah in it. Mm-hmm. Overwatch really needs a single-player mode, which is why I'm very excited about Overwatch 2. I'm just concerned with the state of Blizzard right now. I mean, it's I just, they're more focused on games as a service as opposed to putting out a good product. I'm okay with games as a service. I'm not. I, I didn't have a problem with the boost in Burning Crusade. I bought one. I didn't have a problem with the Burning Crusade um, Deluxe Edition for a game that you don't have to pay extra for. You just have to subscribe for. But I didn't have a problem with that because you know that gave people mount. It's not my cup of tea. People are literally losing their freaking minds about it. But I don't have a problem with it. The problem is though is that they're sinking more time into this stuff than putting out a good product. Mm. See, they've been having the same problems in Shadowlands right now. Shadowlands, don't get me wrong, Shadowlands is a great expansion when it comes to content and story. But it's it, great, it can be but it's broken. The, 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 the currency system, the conduit system, the anima, it's all broken. You see, the thing is, is that you can only get X amount of anima per week. And that's their way of like keeping people from from grinding the entire expansion out in one night, which is fine, I get yeah. it, they gotta do that. The problem is though, is that it's so broken. I, I haven't touched Shadowlands. So instead of fixing in that, time. they're like, hey, do you wanna ride on this floating keg of beer? Pretty much. For $40? That's what they're doing, right? That's what for $40? Doing. Hey, hey, hey. That do costs more than really the expansion cool mouth, itself. Do you really want this? You look like a guy who likes mouths. Why don't you subscribe look, for was, six months to get this really cool? I mouth? was playing. I was playing with Steve. I was like, "Hey, man, how'd that guy get that pirate ship flying around?" And Steve was like, "Oh, that's one that you can buy that mount." I was like, "Oh, really?" I looked at that thing. It was like thirty something dollars. You have to. You have to subscribe for six months. And I was that's like, "You got it." I said, "Jesus Christ!" That's Activision. It wasn't even thirty months. That's Activision. Months. It was like over a hundred dollars. I don't know if y'all heard. Six months subscription. Say, <laughs> did joke about Call of Duty. You want to talk? This was actually what I was going to talk about. You know, right now, what's going on in Call of Duty? Those two expansion packs. You get the skins. You get. You get Rambo and really you get bad John Rambo. Skin. You know how much of those are a piece? How much? Twenty bucks. Now you get other much. things in the skins. Now, look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. But Activision is what I'm Nether saying. Nether Realm on Mortal Kombat. 
I bought the rainbow skin. Now I got it on sale. I spent eight dollars and got three characters. Now normally it's somewhere between it's like fifteen dollars for three characters, okay. which is fine because when you buy those characters, you're not just buying the character skin. You're buying the character and all the unlockables for them, so you can go and play them and earn all the stuff. Sure. So like you're you're basically purchasing it's like a little the mini, gameplay. mini gameplay. You're playing. Yeah. You're purchasing gameplay and also the attention to detail of these characters. It is pretty the, amazing. Like the fact that when you play Sorry. as Rambo with his tarp skin on with, with tarp vest he's got the cut on his arm when he falls in the tree in the first one or when you play as Rambo from Rambo 2 he's got the necklace that the girl gives him and she dies when she has the little silence thing you know what I'm talking about no yeah, yeah, anyway but they, the, the attention to you and I look at I look at uh, Rambo in Call of Duty he looked like a blobfish yeah huh? like what is that he looks like a blobfish um, I, but, that, but, but the, I bring that up to say it's Activision, Call of Duty Activision, Pretty Pretty what's, it's, it's, and that's that's probably what's pulling the strings here. But look, John I'll, I'll McClane ra- plays like it's, it's like Kill it's me. almost <laughs> to me. It's to Seth that he looked like Joel McHale met Wolverine. <laughs> He's like, Please kill me. It looks to me. It's almost as if Activision's like um, trying to compete with EA about being the worst company. <laughs> Activision's like, hey. EA's over there. They just got nominated the worst company. We could do. We could do. We could do worse. We could do worse. Could Look, do worse. I'll wrap this up and I'll say I do think for a while there it looked pretty bleak for two. We didn't hear anything about two. They didn't say anything about it at BlizzCon. Hearing this, and next BlizzCon got canceled too. Yeah. yeah. Hearing this makes me a little bit go, okay. Something's going on. They're fixing stuff, and it sounds like they're moving from what why we fell off, which was the esports thing, to bringing it back to their player base. Well, also, also so, to touch on your news as well, some pro players are upset because they might get cut. That that's the. Other that's what I was saying. Yeah, if you're, and that's if you're, if you're, you broke tanks, you better fight for who's the better tank. Man. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's that's how in, NBA, yep, NFL, that's, hey, that's, 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 the that's the draft. Yeah. That's the draft. Isn't it? Yeah. That's the draft, isn't it? If, if you if you decide your career path is in esports, you, and they and I'm 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 actually this is not coming from my brain. This is coming from start playing podcast. heels. <laughs> this is not coming from this is coming from another podcast. You got to understand what you signed up for. That you are at the mercy of the game you're playing exactly. and the designers and developers and who the coaches. That game and who are, and who can change that exactly. only. So, so you're not buttercup. You're at the mer- I mean, honestly, when <laughs> yeah. you think about it, if you think about it. Put it, put it in a situation of, of like you know normal sports, like NFL. Like like you're a bad quarterback. You're like a mid tier quarterback. <laughs> I want to be a pro smash player. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Well, I'll go ahead and get your sex offender registry ready. For that. <laughs> <laughs> Deep cuts. <laughs> Deep. That is a mess that I don't even want to... Can we talk about some deep cuts? Let's talk about CD Projekt Red, the helm change. Deeper cut? Uh, The damage is already done. It's not going to change it. (laughs) I saw that Cyberpunk was on sale on Steam for their open world sale. I was tempted to get it. Why? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So basically, they they changed the lead designer... uh, Stepped off and another guy. Yes, Gabriel Amatel- Amatelijo. Amatelijo. Oh God, that's yeah. like that's like. Uh, he's that's- got he's got some cred. He, he did Dragon Age Inquisition, Star Wars Old Republic. Um, but that's like, like that's cool though. But the base of this game has this exactly. This is too far gone. Look, I, I appreciate them trying to fix this game, but. You, the, hey, at its hey, core, Vin, Vincent will enjoy it one day. <laughs> yeah, he, he'll enjoy it when, he, when he's sixty. <laughs> but like, his, it, his grandkids will be able to enjoy it. it. It's, it's at its core so messed up. I just don't understand. That's like that's the equivalent of two guys standing outside of a burning building. One of them's the owner. Looks at this other guy's like, "Well, your problem now." <laughs> and, it, and it also, <laughs> right. um, they also, uh, what was the? There was something else about Cyberpunk. Was there years. something else that I missed? I don't uh, know. I can't remember. It's a bad it, game. I, I just, yeah, well, that too. I, I just, it pro- it's probably some kind of it's a patch broken game. Didn't do anything. Um, no, I can't remember. Was it CD Projekt Red? Yeah, I think so. No, and I, I mean, while we're on this subject, I gotta know. I, I have think. to know. I have to know. When they had these like closed door reveals, like was it was it glitchy for these closed door reveals? It was well. No, we talked about no. this. It was doctored footage. Yeah. Oh, okay, it was. Yeah, we did talk about it. Okay, and it was and, and that that the um what's the what's the word for the, the the I can't think of the word. But the relationship when those developers meet with those publishers and, and it's basically them saying, hey, look, this, this is what the game looks like. We know it was their investors. And investors, all. thank yeah. you. But like, hey. We will fix it. Just give us the money. Let us ship it, and we'll fix it. We promise. We talked about it before. You yeah. should not be shipping a game. Oh, I remember what it was. Far. It was the Sony thing. Whenever yeah. oh, everybody, everybody's storefront. like, "When's it coming back to the Sony storefront?" And they're like, "I don't know. Sony's got to make that call." So, yeah. so <laughs> I guess Sony still thinks it's not worth being on their store. So, why would you ship a game in that state? I just who we, made we, that we, decision? We, ta- we talked about it before. This is know, this, just, is, a, just, this just, is the oof of gaming. It's of one of the things. It's just one of the things where it's just like. It's so perplexing that when it's brought up, you just like. 
Only thing I got left, unless you have something else you guys want to talk about, is the E3 news with the Xbox Bethesda showcase being released and just showing that little teaser of Master Chief uh, yeah, and uh, the important. Starfield planet. I've got so, something too. It's kind it's of, kind of common. To talk about. It's kind of. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Like, oh, right, this is what they would yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Duh. But Whatever. here's the thing: Microsoft and Bethesda are sharing a showcase. Uh, are they going to have an extended runtime? Are they going to try to squeeze everything in one? Um, do they, if, if, if so, if they don't have a lot to show, then maybe that's a better thing. Or maybe they just consolidate what they show. Uh, yeah. Um, this is where they're going to make a lot of people upset by showing Starfield and saying it's Xbox exclusive. And this yep. is where they're going to upset some people by saying other things are exclusive. Uh, I don't think they're going to alienate existing IPs. I don't think they're going to alienate Elder Scrolls. I don't think they're going to alienate no. Fallout because it's got existing uh, player bases on, platforms already. on every platform. PC, sure. Xbox, PlayStation. I think X- and I, I think played Microsoft all of them a- on all of like I I played uh, New Vegas on 360. I played Skyrim on PC, and uh, I played uh, Fallout 4 on PS4. I think and, I think Microsoft though, out of all the companies, is is probably the best to, to handle that and go. Okay, yeah, sure, we know you're on all the platforms. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be cool, but they gotta get a little bit like a little bit exclusive. Yeah, Why yeah, do you yeah. spend that much money right, to, to, right. To, to purchase them and pull them in? So, um, you know, Halo and Halo needed- Infinite will come out in in. Then They're gonna be like, hey, we, we 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 fixed it a little bit. It's coming out. In 20- I still think that game has potential. Twenty four. I oh, just sure. think that. Oh yeah. I, th- I think that it's just needs time. Yeah. yeah. It's like everything else. And what else is Microsoft gonna show? Uh, I don't know. I that's guess it. On, on their on their that's, on their bullet that's the best point. part of E three is you don't know what's you coming. Know. You don't know what's it's coming. It's and and you can either be extremely disappointed or extremely excited. Yeah. Smash character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got something. I, what you got, Steve? So apparently, the uh, the upgraded Switch is supposed to be announced soon. Oh, E three. Well, they're really? talking about it might be being it might be announced before E three. Ooh. Like some people were saying that it might be announced tonight. I don't think it's going to be announced. Tonight. No. no. But I think it's going to be it might be announced within the next few days. If hmm. not, if not during E three. Now that I have a four K uh, TV, I would not be opposed to buying. A new I'm not Switch. opposed to getting it. I guarantee you, I'll get the new Switch before Especially I get the PS5. Especially if I can play Smash in Ex- UHD. Yo, hard drive, dude. Smash already burns my eyes because the colors are so vibrant. That's why I got these glasses. <laughs> hard drive. Oh yeah, hard drive as well. Uh, literally, 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 all I'm asking for is uh, bringing back virtual console and stuff back. <laughs> Donkey Kong game. Donkey Kong yeah. game. Yeah. There's a rumor about Donkey Kong game. Yeah. 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 Uh, there's a rumor, basically, long story short, that the Mario Odyssey team is working on a 3D Donkey Kong adventure. Please, 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 please oh give it to I, everybody's like, well, yes. they got the 2D games and no one really likes Shut Donkey your Kong. face! <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, dude. Shut up. I want to see them bananas. Oh, yeah. Give me the bananas. Mm. Give me, I the, see give me the bananas in UHD. I want to see King K. Rool. <laughs> I want to see the 4K bananas. I want to see King K. Rool come back. I want Diddy Kong flying around his jetpack. I want Lanky Kong doing that jump rope thing from the... from the. So I want DK to pull out his coconut gun and start murking people. I think All right? It's 4K, it's 4K bananas. The uh, 4K <laughs> bananas. Is that the title? I don't know. We got in a, a lot of alligator tracksuit. An alligator tracksuit. Alligator tracksuit with a 4K banana, banana. gun. Yes. Title. You don't mess with us. <laughs> title it right why there. Always that's, put, why do you always call them mafia? So. I don't know. <laughs> Listen I'm, I'm here, you mother, you. I'm stuck in it now. Somebody go get the coconut cream pie. <laughs> and go grab the cannolis while you're at it. All right, anyway. Uh, do we got any more news? We're running uh, Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, does anybody have any video games that they've been playing? Because I, I, been playing? I have a, I've been playing a lot. Yeah, but I'm too. only going to talk I have about... a lot, too. For the sake of time, I'm only going to talk about one. I have three, but they're all quick. Okay. Yeah, mine are going to be quick, too. Mine's going to be long. Go mm. first. Okay. I got an Oculus, like, a month ago. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah VR. VR. How you, like, how you like VR, Love world? it. Love it. What you I mean? just we- forget about... I, I, so, so the problem is... Wait a minute, whoa! Did you finish Half Life Alex? I did not finish it yet. Okay, I want to play that. Can I? I'm, I gotta come over to your house, dog. I want to play Sunday. that game. I will, oh, Y'all come on oh, Jesus! Oh, I want to play that game. Yeah, yeah for yes, yes, yo, dog. Yes. Memorial Day hangout. Yes, I'm playing that game on Come over. Anyway, yeah, continue. continue. Right. <laughs> so, so I'm just gonna, be, I'm gonna I'm fire gonna, off. I'm gonna finish that game. I'm gonna fire off all the games that I've been playing. I'm, I'm gonna make it quick. That way, that way, it's not over time. So, Half Life Alex, love it. I love it so much. It's so fun. It's like it's everything that gravity gloves. Gravity gloves. I mean, oh god, <laughs> there's something that's so satisfying about saying, "Huh? Oh, that's an item I need." 
Got it. Where were those in Half Life Two? <laughs> no, but uh, it's a prequel, right? Gun. But it's so cool. It's so cool. God, and then and then oh, I got guns. And you see, the cool thing about Half Life, Alex, is is that you have to you have to kind of like be be like tactical with your reloads because you can always do that one in the chamber thing. Yeah. To to give you that extra thing. Yeah. I love that. That's so cool. Because otherwise, if you use all of your gun, you have to you have to reload and you have to copy, which mm-hmm. is a neat thing. But when you're taking on zombies and uh, combine soldiers, you're like... They're, they're, I heard the combat's very tactile and fun. It's, it is. I love it. That's great. Love That's it. good. It's, it's so cool. Like, you literally have to bend over. I mean, you gotta, like, you gotta go back and play all the Half-Life games, man. You gotta uh, get in that universe. Yeah. Is it... Play them? Oh, is it on a rail oh, or do you? Is it nope, some, not on a rail. Some, you, you move. Here's, here's the cool thing about it. Okay, with every VR game that I played so far on the Oculus, if I had an unlimited space, I could literally move my body and I move the character. Okay. okay. But the problem is, obviously, there's constraints, so you really need to use a controller. Mm-hmm. Okay. But here's the cool thing. And the reason I'm standing up, and if you can't hear me, it's because I'm standing up. It's because if you've got combine over there and you're behind like a table or something, you literally have to get down and get up. And get down, and get up, and get down, and get up, and get down, and get up. Yeah. Get up. But, but but man, I just I love how uh, intuitive it is. The only drawback to this with every VR game is that you forget how long you're playing, mm. and it takes a toll on you. Yeah, you lose yourself in the sauce. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, I've, we 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 know what you're talking about. I've, dude. I've had to finish playing like like I've had to stop myself from playing all these games, and I'm just like holy. Oh, man, it's I not until really you take it off. Headache. It's once you take it off and you're like, it's been Uh-oh. 84 years. It's because, and it's because reality <laughs> slaps you in the face like, welcome Cause, back. Because <laughs> your brain your brain turns to slush because yeah. it's, it, it's so wild how VR affects you. Yeah, brain. it is. I'm glad you have a VR headset now because, like, yeah. unfortunately, uh, I hate to, like... I don't want to. I don't want to say you're gonna do it, but there comes a point where you just kind of fall off your VR headset for a while. But yeah. you, but you do have a better one than we had. Yeah. So. And so, um, and so, let's see. What else did I play? So, so I got Blade and Sorcery. I love that That's game. That's a fun. Game. That is the most yeah. satisfying game. There's something satisfying about using your gravity magic to pull somebody to you and look them in the eye when you just stab them. <laughs> They're soulless. They're soulless, like mannequin eyes. And then, and then I bought, I bought. Uh, I mean, I didn't buy it. I, I downloaded a mod with lightsabers, and I grabbed these people, and I literally like cut their head off and like watch them. Oh, that's that's kind of terrifying, Steve. I know. <laughs> and then I pour their blood on them. You sound kind of scary. But but man, Blade and Sorcery. This really fun game. Um, let's see, what else did I get? I got um, Star Wars Squadrons. <laughs> I'm oh. Much better. I bet you it looks much better than it does on, much on PlayStation. Sure much does. better. I mean, of course, because you downloaded it here, right? I don't. I know. I never played it on oh, the okay. VR. It's very. It I don't know. Very pixely. I don't. I. It, I don't find it's all that pixelated. It, now you can go it back does. and forth. You can go back and forth with it. Uh, it took me a while to get it running pretty good. But honestly, like I'm the the little kid in me is just like I'm in the next Dude. swing. Yeah, you look at the, the thing, swing. the thing. You look at the thing. Look at the thing, the thing, the thing with the little. It, I don't even know what it does. It's, but a, it's a scanner. It is a scanner. Yeah, you can see the thing. Yeah, so cool. And then it's just. So cool, just look at them. Yep. Well, on PlayStation, it's like it's good. It does all that, but man, it's so mm-hmm. that mesh door yeah, effect. It's, it's is like, bad ugh. because those environments are so huge. Yeah, yeah. Everything way out in the distance, you're like, oh my, what is that? I can't. It was a star destroyer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now there is a little bit of the visual stuff because my computer is not quite top. Well, it also might just be the game. It yeah. might just be the game. Uh, it could just be the game. But I mean, but for all intents and purposes, honestly, it's fine for the most part. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um, I got super hot. Uh, I got super hot on the standalone though. No brainer. I didn't get it on the computer. I got it on the standalone. That way, if I ever wanted to bring the Oculus anywhere, we'd play super oh, hot. Yeah, that's a no brainer. Yeah. That's, and, a, and that's I, a standard. I beat you it. You don't get that Five Nights at Freddy's game. I kind of don't want to. <laughs> speaking of speaking of segue, phasmophobia. I have yet to see a ghost because I'm too much of a. <laughs> oh, see? you can play that. In VR. Yeah, I'm too much of a pussy to play it in VR because. Huh. I, look, look. I walk around the house. And I'm like, and I'll hear that noise. <laughs> turn it off. All right, turn it off. Turn off. That's, that's no, like me no. playing Resident Evil 7. I saw Jack Baker come down the hallway. I was like, and, <laughs> and, and we're not doing Good. this. Yeah. Good. Uh, and then there's, um, I got Skyrim on. It's, I did myself a disservice getting Blade and Sorcery first. Yeah. Because the combat in Blade and Sorcery is so smooth. It's not bad in Skyrim. It's just. Not as, as you could tell. It's more it, like it, it takes you out. The of The VR is yeah. shoehorned in. Yeah, 
it, it reminds fun. me more of the Twilight Princess combat. Now, it's not the same because it still tracks where your hand is, but it's like you have to register a swipe. It's not like Blade and Sorcery where it's like if yeah. you're swinging it and the physics connect, yeah. it's happening. You had to swing at a certain speed. Yeah. And also the bone arrow is great, but it's like... You really gotta like. You really yeah. gotta kind of put your. Now, control, what yeah. I do like about Skyrim is looking around. Mm -hmm. Oh, it dude! Gorgeous. First thing I did was I went straight to Dragon's Reach yeah. and just look around. And it's so great to see these familiar locations yeah. in VR. Do you have to uh, say it? You gotta go to Balamis. No, no, no. Now the cool thing is, yeah, is that it, with it the doesn't computer, restrict you on that. Yeah. With the computer, you can use the control stick. Okay. You don't have. That's to what use, I was asking. You could choose. Now that would be they cool. recommend you use. I think it, you, teleporting you, yeah, for most. Yeah, stuff. you can. On, on PlayStation. Can you? Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can use it. Uh, Does that have no warp? I'm, I'm, I think you can use it on the controller, but they yeah, don't yeah, have the can, yeah, they don't yeah, have the joystick. Yeah, you can use if the you use a controller, but if you use yeah. a move, you can't. Now yeah, you could so. use now you. But you got to go to Balaman's Forge and yeah. bring him genuine fire sauce because the Forge knows the difference. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna Nothing, have to do that. Yeah, I swear, one of the first things I ever did in the game, I went straight and saw Balaman <coughs> in VR. I just looked down. I was like. That's, that's him. It's yeah. so cool. It's so Never realized cool how big his nose things. is, but it's him. Like, like, in every game that I've played, especially, like, the games that I've played in not VR, like Half-Life and, and Skyrim, like, just getting a good look at everything, like, in VR, it's just a, an amazing experience. Because yeah. it's like you're front and center, like, 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 you can almost touch it. It's like you're right there next to it. Like, I studied the zombies, and I was just, I'd pick up a head crab, and I'd look inside its little hole, and I'd put it on my head, yeah. because you could do that. And then I'd pick up, <laughs> pick up, you know, pick up stuff that you see in Half-Life, you know, and I'd just look in I it. I see those Gary's mod, used to zoom in on the crab, the yeah. head crab hole, I used to go, ew. Yeah, and then I did that, I did yeah, that. I really picked up, I go, ew, and I threw it away. And I'd put it on my head like a hat. Um, Is that it? But, uh, and then the last game I played, it's called Elite Dangerous. Mm -hmm. It was seven bucks. That's actually a really fun game. Yeah, it is a really fun it's game. It's a really the fun aliens? game. Have you read all the stuff about the aliens? Yeah. That's, that's, that's what triggered it. That's why I bought it. There's living organism I, I, things. I, um, and like the way they show up and they're like, wow. it's not scripted. Yeah. yeah. I was watching I was watching TikTok of all places and, and I came came up on a video of this game as like hey, go poke it. person in this cockpit and then there's this alien thing and I'm like, what game is this? And I look through the comments, they say it's called Elite Dangerous. Like look at I've been about this game for Elite a long time. Dangerous, about this. Elite yeah. Dangerous seven bucks, it's VR too. Yeah. And I popped pop that thing on, I played it, and I played through the tutorial, I'm like, wow, this is really cool and I haven't played it since, but I want to. Yeah. Well the problem is that there's just so much that I want to play, I can't keep up with it. But yeah, yeah dude. that's my VR. You're getting dude. The VR overload. Oh, dude! Oh, I, I, I wish I wish Blood and Truth was available for Oof. you, man. That is yeah, a, that's wait, a, what's so. Blood and Truth? That's that was that. our remember that was our number four. Oh from, yeah, um, yeah. It's a PlayStation, uh, you know, I, I, studio. And and there are other ways to experience that type of thing on there. I just haven't found it yet. I'm yeah. just barely scratching the surface. Yeah, like and then I played around with all the. Uh, I've watched Netflix on that thing too. That's cool. I was freaking watching Jeopardy in there, and I'm just like, <laughs> I was saying, I remember the first time I got there. I remember my first time in VR. Like, hey, hello, Alex Trebek. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, honestly, it's like I, 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 one of the best purchases I made for my career. You know, I love That's it. That's awesome, I'm man. I'm glad you love it. Playing man. the heck out of it, too. Glad you, Jacob, would you like to go ahead? I, I got a long one. Okay, uh, really quick. This is an older game, but Subnautica. Uh, it was free for the days of uh, uh, oh, yeah. play at home or whatever. I like that game until uh, I start playing it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, no, I'm good. It's, not, it's one of the water games. Isn't yeah, it? so oh, it's underwater. Yeah, you're 100%. You're, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a little bit where you're above ground, but it's not much. Um... But man, that PlayStation Five upgrade is just—it's absolutely gorgeous. When you're when you're still shallow enough, and the the, the rays of light are coming through the water, and just—it like, was funny. I think I was playing it, but I don't think the Five upgrade had come out yet. Oh really? Yeah, I think I was still playing the Four uh, version. And look, man, and yeah, that 3D audio is what sucks about that game Ooh. because now look, you know about the Reaper Leviathan, right? Yeah, the I do. Big tentacle yeah, claw yeah. things. They grab your ship and yeah. they face f you. I, I've kind of I've kind of got figured them out, but like it's crazy because you'll you'll get over a reef. And then you look, and it's just darkness. Black. It's yeah. just there's no. A, there's no bottom, and you see him just vaguely out in the water, and you can see the, the rays of light catch him and then disappears. And you're like, uh, no, <laughs> you just kind of back up. No, no, but no. like there was a moment where it, there's different kind of leviathans, different creatures, and Is of course, Fulu in there. Uh, uh, not, not, not quite, Cthulhu. but it's it's looking. It's kind of a creature that's I similar to it. it. Literally was Cthulhu. Um, but there's um 
there's a moment, because the problem is, so your ship lands, you crash, or it doesn't land, you crash, you find out that the planet has quarantined itself as an ancient civilization, and stuff has got this bacteria on it, and so anything that tries to come in, like a ship tries to come in and save your ship, and this big space can goes, nope, blasts it out of the atmosphere, and it's because it's on quarantine. So you're having to build a rocket to get off, but you're also having to figure out how to shut the gun down. Yeah. But guess what? In order to get more parts to get your rocket, you got to go deeper. And this is a, just a ocean I heard plant. Tom Hanks is down there somewhere. <laughs> nope. But uh, there was, this? There was nope. a moment, and like, you know, obviously... I wish it was co-op. I would play with you. Oh, I really no. would play with you. But there's, but, there's, uh, there's base building, which is really cool. Brandon, your hand gestures were fabulous. Uh, uh, really but there, I, I, I would play with you. The, I there, would. There's so many terrifying moments, and I want to bring up this last I'll end with, is the 3D audio is what makes this game, because when you're in under the water... Everything's amplified, yeah. right? Uh, and there's there was a moment where I'm, I'm diving down, and you have your little ships or submarine or your scuba suit or whatever it is you're in. Your light, you know, only lights up so much because you're so deep that there's no more sunlight. And um, I didn't know there was a thing bo- above me, and it just I heard the and I heard dunk, and it hit my ship, and I, my, I literally and don't look, the, don't look, don't went, look, don't look, no, I just went like this. I went, oh, I'm out of here. We're going. <laughs> don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Young Scoop Up Jr. <laughs> yeah, that's the sound. The little the, the, the sea makes. Yeah, uh, really good game. I'm gonna come back to it after I get to this last game. Uh, I had a side track. I wanted to talk about this. I didn't get a chance to talk about it last podcast, but that is Spirit Fair. Uh, Spirit Fair is on the Switch. It's a indie game. It's on the Switch by Thunder uh, Thunder Lotus. Um, that game is freaking heavy, man. And it's, it's a charming... So, premise real quick is you are... Apparently you die, and you meet Karen, the uh, the the spirit fairer, the guy that ferries you across the river. Karen Across Limbo. Limbo, whatever limbo. it is. He, 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 river Sticks. Didn't you talk about this before? I no. Think, I, I think you talked about... Yeah. I don't know if you talked about it on the show. I didn't talk about it on the show. Maybe not. No, I talked about it to Are you, you sure? guys. sure? I talked about it to you because I really yeah, want to talk yeah, about yeah, it on the show. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I just wanted to mention it because... Okay. It uh, so you basically you find out that you are um, you're replacing him and now you're the spirit fair, and so all of these people it, are your people in your life and I don't th- I haven't got deep enough and I haven't finished it to know if like this is all in your character's head or her character's name is Stella um, ah, that's and my niece. you have your little cat that's name is Daffodil but all that's these my other niece you, you run <laughs> there's these little shades there's these people they like have this robe they look like the the, the, the people from Journey. Um, there's like a little oh, rogue yeah. figure, and when you finally get to talk to them, they turn into their spirit, which is, I guess, their spirit animal, because they're all animal, animal creatures. Your first person, you find out, is your best friend from... So all these people know you for some reason in real life. But your job is you have this boat, your boat, your spirit boat, and you're, it's basically a management game. You're upgrading it, and you're helping these people cross over to the other, the other life. That's pretty neat. But it's they're very... They come at peace with themselves. Yeah, yeah. but like, and it's really charming because you, you grow a garden, and all these spirits you, you meet, of course, help you. And, and in the, the game boat? mechanics, yeah, on the boat, you can upgrade your boat, uh-huh. uh, and you can... Can you put a troll motor on it? <laughs> Man, I'm gonna go... Is there a bayou Man, level? Man, yeah. I'm gonna go troll, I'm gonna go troll it in the river, in no. the river chair. Do, do, do you have to help, like, Emerald What kind of shrimp they got in there? house? <laughs> what's it? Uh, what's the, uh, the 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 man in your guy? Uh, uh, Scaly Pete. <laughs> Scaly Pete. You gotta help him cross over because yeah. he got eight. Um, he got eight. <laughs> actually, yeah, spoiler alert: he gets he blown up. Eight. Oh, okay. Oh man, but, uh, they don't get eaten. He gets but, uh, eight and blown up at the same time. Ooh. The art style By is you. very. Um, Cartoony. Bayou? It's, Bayou? it's cartoony. It's 2D, right? Um, so it's very charming is the word I look for. Yeah. Um, and like every and you got to keep your spirits happy on your boat, your people happy. Like you got to feed them. Uh, and there's a social aspect in like you can give them a big old hug and that makes them happier because they get down on themselves. Oh. Um, but as I'm saying, like you're like this is really fun. I'm growing a garden. It's kind of like a little bit of like Stardew and that I'm just kind of management. It's like on Sonic Adventure when you have a really a really good time with your child and you got to cut one loose and you see that picture of him with the little thing. Oh, <laughs> Well, hang on, right? So, so like the first spirit you usher over is this deer. Her name is uh, what's her name? I can't remember. But uh, we'll say Lily. Delilah. Delilah. But you um, you basically she she's she's having a hard time with her dad. She had she had issues with her dad, and she finally's like, you know what? I forgive him. I'm ready. And you go and you paddle out to the wherever this thing is, the spirit door, which is really pretty because it's a it's a bridge, and then the reflection of the water is the other side of the bridge, so it's a complete circle. Ooh. And you give her a big hug. And she floats off, and then she goes to wherever the afterlife is. But like, I, I did that, and I was like, man. And then I, you go back to your boat, and like, you start you, watering your tomatoes, and you're like, holy she, crap! She, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, but like, I, and like, it hit me like this is a game about dealing with loss because yeah. you go back to the boat, 
and you can't delete her house that you built for her. It, it's there. And so you go in there, you're looking through her stuff, and like, she's gone. Like, she's not going to be in this game anymore. Wow. And like, so you, like, you, you start going, oh my god. What, what the I heck did I start playing, man? Is this your first game with, with like a serious Lost theme? No, I've had other games with Lost. I was going to like, say, uh, Fantasy Oh, no. All right, all right. We'll get it. Buck them up. It was one of the things. It was one of the yeah. things whenever it was like, wait a minute. It's not, yeah, they're that, gone. This character's not coming back. Not coming and back. I've wasted all my time yeah. getting that final lemon break. <laughs> It's not like that. You're not mad at the game. It ain't that easy either. Uh, but it, it's it's a very heavy game. But I, I, I want to continue to finish it anyways. That's good to hear, um, man. But uh, the last oh, thing I want to say yeah. is um, I got my hands on Biomutant. Ooh. Biomutant? Uh, the latest release. Yeah, Biomutant. That's what this show's known for. Playing all the latest and best things. <laughs> Biomutant? Yeah, like some Subnautica. <laughs> like, like, uh... Right, right, what you play? Uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. Oh, yeah. I like this one because there's a motorboat. <laughs> uh, a motorboat. But I'm going to use this... <laughs> Got I'm going to use a Seth explanation real quick and to set it up. Seth goes, Seth said, buy me. I said, what you think about buy me? And he goes, it's like when you're waiting for that Amazon package and you've been looking forward to it forever because this game's been in development. We've heard about it for like seven yeah, years. Yeah, it got delayed. So. Uh, and it's exactly what you wanted. It's what you needed. It's a banger. But on the way, the delivery company kind of roughed it up a little bit and it's a little broke. Now, I say this game is not broken that there's no there's no glitches. I can't do that. No glitches. Glitch, glitch, glitch. <laughs> it's not. It's good. I haven't had glitch. a problem with it. But it, 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 there was a there was some there was some issues and some news articles that came out because when they right before it came out and they started releasing all the embargoes they were like hey PlayStation Five by the way it's not gonna run in true 4K it's kind of 1080 upres to 4K uh, whereas Xbox can it's like in between 4K. 1080p yeah so when you look at the game it's a pretty game so it's all right so the the goal I, I, if I want to spoil some stuff for you what you actually find out is apparently Earth has been ruined by um, Toxic pollution, basically. So mankind's gone. And it's, it's, you're basically in the uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But instead of all the people being gone because of all the toxic pollution, it created, it, it sparked the wildlife and like super evolved them. And so that's what you are. You're a biomutant. So all of these these little chibi creatures and. Uh, basically have inhabited the world, which is really cool because it's kind of not so much like um, that diorama feel like when you're shrunk down, but you can tell like I'm not quite human size, but I'm kind of a little bit smaller and like all these things are living in this world now. Um, Actually, explain the game. It's an open world RPG action. Um, But yeah, the the, the combat is really fun. It's got this... um, like really fast, darty. I can't really explain with the melee what I would compare it to, but um, there's you can you can work dual blades, you can work two handers. It kind of it's got this little bit of it got a little bit of take the uh, just straight on action and the uh, uh, from Final Fantasy, just that real quick with sword blade, just moving fantastical, yeah. flipping through the air. Uh, maybe Kingdom Hearts would probably be a better explanation for that. With a mix of like Devil May Cry, bullet time, slow down, and um, your goal is this is World Tree. You gotta save it, and it does work with a, a black and white system. You have an R system, so you do good or bad things, uh, and you have different factions that all want to do something with the tree, whether they want to heal it, or they want to take over it, or they want to chop it down. Faction war. And of course, when you side for one, it's very black and white. Um, uh, but um, like, I like the the cuteness of the world because it's kind of like the I sided with this. Uh, Alliance, and they're this, they're this very, uh, like, what's the um, Middle Eastern theme, like a turban and everything. They're the good guys. Mm-hmm. And uh, the the uh, leader, the Alliance leader on that faction, his name is Pookie Bear. Uh, Pookie Bear, huh? Pookie Bear, yes. It's very, like, chibi cutesy, like your game, you're, like you get a, a gun part, it's like, see, is looky, looky thing is like the name of the scope. Or like a looky thing. Looky thing. That's literally what it's called. So that's cool. So you're yeah. not. It's not like oh, I got my ACOG scope. It's, it's, yeah, it's, so, it's got. The, the, they're this the, this little. What, what's like the armor and stuff like? Are you wearing like? It's you can tell animal parts. Are you no, wearing like? No, it's 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 remnants of the old world. So you're wearing so, like a leather wow. jacket. You're wearing. Trunks. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you're wearing human clothes. Uh, and, uh, and a lot of it looks kind of kitty a little bit because you're so small and right. then you're getting but then there's also that mix of like fallout so like, you have like the serious dude with the eye patch he's got a rainbow bright jacket that'd be really on. cool yeah yeah like seriously my guy's got a puff like Marty McFly jacket and, yeah. and but he's got like this like fallout like Pretty put cool. together shoulder pads yeah. the, the big buff bad guy with like, with, like an eye and, patch and, 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 and like stars it. it's got like a cocoa melon shirt yeah. <laughs> 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 we don't say that word <laughs> we I, I appreciate uh, universes like unique universes yes yeah. that, 
yeah. the, the universe is fine. Where the, the con and this will end with, it, and, and Seth can probably agree with me, it just feels like they put so much heart into the world, into the action, which is fine because at the end of the day, that's what I want. But like the cut scenes are really weird, and all the characters like they talk like minion talk. They're like, and it's like, and it's a narrator talking the entire time. He's got a very charming, pleasant British voice, but he he says that you should go out and go get these parts for you. So he's interpreting that's everything cool. that's going on in the world, yeah, which cool. is neat because it fits the theme of the world. Um, but the it gets into some like it just does like some really cheap. You never played that cheap like. I wouldn't even say B game, C game. Like the cutscenes just look like it's in-game cutscene footage, yeah. and like the camera sitting on the ground looking up, and you can't quite see all of the characters. It's just doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't have that like AAA touch. Like yeah, most editing. Games yeah, yeah, it's it's missing that. Mm. But I'm not really fully playing the game for the world and the in the narrative. So <laughs> it looks whatever. like Fallout Four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. yeah, a little bit. So uh, Fallout I'll, Four, but anal. I want to get a little more just, in just detail. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get a little more detailed and probably finish it by the next time we roll around to it. So I'll end with that. But uh, I, I've enjoyed every moment that I've played with it so far. I'll say that. So awesome game so far. Awesome, good to hear. And now look, I've been playing a lot of games. I'm glad to hear about that biomutant stuff because I was thinking about it, but I was like, oh, I'll wait, I'll wait. Yeah, uh, I've been playing a lot of games. I've been playing a lot of Divinity Original <laughs> Sin Two. Oh, I've been playing a lot of Divinity with Seth. Uh, I've been playing Mortal Kombat. I mentioned it earlier. I bought some new characters and really been enjoying getting back into Mortal Kombat 11. Mm -hmm. uh, playing as Rambo. Uh, I really want to play as Joker. Uh, I love that they put Joker in there. Dude, it, it's such a wonderful game. Uh, but uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to talk about one game. Um, it takes two to make a thing go wrong. Oh, right. good. I'm yeah. glad you did. Okay. It takes two to make yeah. it out. It takes two is a spiritual successor in the next evolution and co-op exclusive gameplay from Yosef Fares, which is the guy who made A Way Out, which I think is a criminally underrated game. I love that game. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. Play that game. If you have a friend, play it. And in that game, you could play uh, with your friend, and as long as one person owned the game, you could give your friend a friend You pass. have to play with your friend. You yeah, can't. You, can't, you can't play that game by yourself unless you're just extremely ambidextrous. <laughs> uh, but you can um, you can give your friend a friend pass, and you can play it split screen. That's you really can cool. play it over the internet, however you want. And the, that trend continues with this game. And apparently that's a successful um, um, model because yeah. this game sold very well. And let me tell you, this game... Is really really good. Real great. Really really. Now, you guys know I love co-op games. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but this one, this game, like literally, you cannot do anything without your friend. And they're constantly innovating the gameplay as you you go on through the game. Now, a way out was more based in reality, and it was like, what were you doing? You were paddling a boat down a river, or you were. Um, you know, trying to break out of prison. One guy's in a laundry hamper. One guy's pushing it. You're working together that way. This one is way more fantastical. It takes place in just literally imaginary worlds, so they can do whatever they want. And let me let me tell you the, the names of these levels, and tell me how boring they sound. And I'm gonna tell you how wrong you are. You ready? The shed, <laughs> the tree, Rose's room, Cuckoo Clock, Snow Globe, Cuckoo the garden, good. the attic. All those things sound so stupid, but they take the most mundane areas and they explode them in the most imaginative, great puzzle-filled, yeah. cooperative gameplay areas ever. And it's so fun. So the story is that you play these two, these 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 parents, right? Yeah. There's a woman and a man. Um, and uh, I, I I know I know the dude's name's Cody because she's always saying you. Don't let go, Cody! Cody! Uh, I just love how Cody is an American and the girl is British. Oh, I, oh, okay. I can't remember her name. I think her name is May? I can't... Um, I guess May. May and Cody. So they're divorcing. They they can't work it out. It's, it's deep. It sucks, but they're like, sure. you know what? We've, we've come to terms with it. We just don't love each other like we used to. Uh, and the little girl, the little girl, her name is Rose, she finds out and she blames herself for it. And like... While the parents are going off and doing their own thing, like the dad's in his room doing his thing, the mom's taking a nap on the couch, they get transported 
out of their psyche and into these little dolls the girl made because she's like, I'm gonna, we're gonna be friends forever. And so, like, Cody's this big clumpy clay figure and then May is this, like, kind of more finely woven wooden figure with yarn for hair. Um, and then, like, they're like, we, ha- we gotta get back in our bodies. What happened? And so, like, she was crying and she cried on the toys and they think the magic of her tears or whatever and they're completely wrong. Mm. And there was this book uh, Dr. Hakim, uh, <laughs> the, the book of love. The book of love. He always, oh he always pops out. He's, like, really he's, a, he's always doing his hips. He's like, you gotta, you gotta learn how you to, to learn how to reignite your passion. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you gotta cooperate. <laughs> and so he's the one who's doing this to you. And he's like, basically, like, um, towards the end of the game, it gets more. Um, I watch people stream this game. It, okay. it, each level, you get uh, a mechanism, right? Yeah. So in the shed, I had nails. And, uh, and I played this whole game with Seth, by the way. I'm going. I'm, I'm waiting for him to reply because I'm going to him. I'm going to call him and get him on speakerphone to ask him a question, but he's not re- replying. Uh, but like, Seth had the the a hammerhead, and I had nails, and I could throw the nails and recall them God of War style. And as the level went on, I got more nails. And so like, I would throw a nail, and he could use the uh, the, the removing end of the hammer to swing. And he could he could use it as platforms, or he could break things that I couldn't break. And so like, we were using that to to cross platforms. And I'm I am totally underprepared, and I'm gonna try to talk about the different mechanisms in each level. The tree. The tree area, you go out, and like I said, everything is fantastical, but the, it's all these things from their daily lives that they don't realize how much it meant to them until they get put in this situation. Like, there's these squirrels in this tree, and um, the squirrels are this militant, like... Like they want to just—they're at war. Oh, it's like like it's like a revolution going on, right? Like they're like at civil war. war they're at thing. war with the wasps, and okay. they built this wasp. Oh, hell yeah, Team Squirrel! They they they, beat, <laughs> they, they they built this wasp queen robot, and this squirrel got stuck into it and was got power hungry and wanted to rule the wasp army, and they're at war with each other. And um, the the squirrels give us some of their warfare, and uh, so Seth got a matchstick gun, and I got this nectar cooler thing that has like a little like juice drink emitter on the front and so I can I can drench things in nectar and he can shoot with the match gun and combust it and set on fire and so I can make trails and there's just the the amount of puzzles that they can do with these things are, are, are incredible like I can't even think about like I like if there was something hanging that I had to add weight to, I could shoot the nectar onto it and it would make weight and it would lower a bucket or something. Okay. And then Seth might have to shoot that to break it to jump on a platform and go up or something. Um, but there, there's every level has a theme, I and mean, that's Doctor Hakim's point. Is that once you get to, I think it's uh, the cuckoo clock, Doctor Hakim's like, you gotta, you gotta learn how to. Um, like you have to get, there's this piece of paper basically that Rose, she was writing a letter. And that letter was something important. They think it's the way to get returned to their bodies. And so he's like, if you do, if you complete these four areas, I'll give you the four pieces of paper and you can read it and you can figure out what's going on. I'm not going to spoil what the letter says because it's super, super great. Uh, But each, each area in the beginning, it's just them bickering. They're always bickering at each other. Uh, and then once Dr. Hakeem sends you these areas, he's kind of like trying, he's successfully, or maybe not successfully, I don't know, you have to play the game, uh, trying to get them to realize their love for each other, rekindle that, that flame of love, that flame of love. And uh, literally one of the levels is he's like, you gotta learn how to be attracted to each other again. So he takes a magnet and he breaks it in half. He's like, you get this one and you get this one. And he's like, now you could attract them. And then May, she's an engineer. She's like, that's not how magnets work. He's like, shut up. And he pulls a lever and you fall down. <laughs> And so, like, th- there's one part where, like, you can use, like, there's red things, there's blue things. And if you have the blue part of the magnet, you can you can pull yourself to red things, but you can push yourself to blue things. And just think about the puzzles that you can do with these things. Um, and it, it, I was talking to Seth about it. I was like, how are they going to make this level interesting? Like, how are they going to make, um, uh, this is a little bit of a spoiler alert. Uh, but towards the end of the game, one of the things, like, the garden in the attic. The garden was Cody's passion. He wanted to be a gardener, and he wanted to work on those things. And then you find out, he's like, oh, those troublesome moles are back. And she's like, we had moles? He's like, yeah, I just don't tell you anything about it. And, like, he kind of rekindles his passion for gardening, and May helps him inadvertently. Mm. But then he wants to help May in the attic because her passion is she liked to sing. I was like, how are they going to make singing fun? And dude, that's like the best level in the game. Really? Because I got a... Um, May gets the power of her voice. And she can do things 
and the environment is singing and every it's her singing is like a backtrack to all the music that's happening so whenever you hold down the sing button she's singing and it's going to the music and my power because i'm cody and i can't sing i had a symbol and i could use the symbol like a captain america shield i could throw it i could block sound waves and lasers and stuff and i could cut strings and it's, I was like, how are they going to make these two things work together? And they totally do! I don't know how they do it. It's just incredible. Um, and then, like, in the garden, I was like, this is going to be a stupid power. Because Cody has this little leaf on his head. And it makes it to where he can shoot that leaf like a bean sprout and catch things. And then Seth had, like, a water gun. And he could water certain plants. But I found out that Cody can turn into other kinds of plants. Like a dandelion. He can shoot up and glide down. And do all this cool stuff. Um, but, man, that story... Oh man, it's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, it's, it's such a beautiful story. And as it goes on, you just want to know more and more. And uh, MVP is the the rhinoceros beetle. I'm not gonna tell you what happens. Very rhinoceros beetle. And then yeah. uh, also the MVP, the best MVP, Moon Baboon. Moon Baboon shows up in Rose's room. He is her stuffed animal she got at like the museum, and he's a moon, he's a baboon in a moon suit, like. In a, <laughs> and so um, he he talks like this. You're not gonna hurt Rose on my watch, and like you're wondering why he's so uh, obsessed with you. And he's like, he's uh, he's like, when you gave me to Rose, you said I would never let anything hurt her, and you want to hurt her. I'm not gonna let it. And yeah. like, you gotta go against Moon Baboon, and, dude. The boss fights are really good. The game looks fantastic. The acting's on point. Yeah. The only bad thing, in my opinion, is that Dr. Hakeem and Cody have the same voice actor, and sometimes Cody will say things, I'm like, he sounds a little bit like Dr. <laughs> Hakeem there. Uh, but no, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to talk about anything story It's kind of like, not to, not to make a complete, uh, this is kind of a uh, shot in the dark comparison, but Spirit Fair is the same way. It's a cutesy, like, oh, weird, fan, just like, oh, this is really, kind of, but if there's some heavy, there's some heavy oh, there, undertones. There, there were some parts where I was playing with Seth, I was like, and like, we just, we were like, we were goofing off and having a good time, and then like a cutscene would happen, and we'd both just get really quiet. <laughs> and I'd be like, you okay? <laughs> like, like, like Seth, Seth, Seth would be like, yeah. You there? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm just, all right. and especially with yeah, the, the whole kid thing, you know. Right. It's it's really good. I, it's, I, it's one of the games I want to try. I, I'm of course it's probably gonna be a long shot. But I want to see if Julie can play it because I think that would be fun. It it it's, it seems like it like with the with the theme and all, it'd be a good couples game. But sure. I don't know. She, she's got the poor poor thing. She ain't got no coordination to play with it. <laughs> well, it's. It's really good, and I forgot to mention, as your adventure goes on, there's these little, like, versus minigames you can do, and they might be something as simple as, like, uh, whack-a-mole, where you can play as, uh, like, Cody pops out of the hole and May has to whack him with the hammerhead, and sometimes they have to do with the items you have, sometimes they don't. There's actually a full, playable chessboard oh, in the attic. Oh, that's You can just play chess, straight up. Hmm. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna see if I can get Seth on the line. Here, let me, let me see. This might, this might fail. <laughs> You like his color yeah, ID? of course. <laughs> All right. Shrek! Shrek. Yeah, it's Shrek. Let me see if I can get him on the line. Hello? Hey. Hi. Hey, you sleeping? Uh, no, I'm eating dinner. What's up? Oh, dude, you have one, do you have one minute to share your thoughts on It Takes Two on the podcast? You're on the air right now, Seth. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Give me one second so I can get away. Okay, we were just talking about It Takes Two. I already kind of went through the gameplay. I was talking about the different examples of the different mechanics you get in each level. But give me, like, your short... And by the way, I only have 6% battery. <laughs> give, me, give me your short synopsis on It Takes Two, and, and, and what do you think about it? Great game. Uh, more fun gameplay than A Way Out. Um, story. Uh, story is good. Uh, Dr. Hakeem steals the show. <laughs> Dr. Hakeem! Seth, Seth, Dr. Did, Hakeem. Did, did you find that you and Brandon's relationship was, was better after? Yeah, actually, we, uh, we got romantically involved. <laughs> yeah, that, that, game's, that game gets, it gets heavy. It does. What was, um, your, what was your favorite uh, mechanic from what level? I think the singing one, just because of how Boom. cool it was. He said the same thing. It is Brandon good. said the same thing. It's good, dude. Yeah, and, and Brandon had a, a symbol that he used, like a definite symbol. Dude, so um, what, what would you score that, like, on a scale of 1 to 10? I'm thinking I might give it a straight 10, because Whoa. cooperatively, it is a good game. What do you think, Seth? I would say 9 to 9.5, solely because, and this isn't a flaw, it's just... It's just one thing that I noticed. Um, 
but it always seemed like one power, except for the beginning. But one one power was cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it does incentivize you to go back and replay it again. Switch it out. And switch, yeah. yeah. Which yeah. maybe we might and, do one day. And because the whack a mole game was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whack a mole did, did suck. I didn't like this. I didn't like the the snowballs either. <laughs> Stupid snowballs. Yeah. <laughs> um. No, but uh, also we're going to subtract a point for the rhinoceros beetle. Oh, yeah, and the bee that survived. Yeah, screw that bee. So, anyway, okay. We, at, we didn't talk spoilers. Don't spoil too much. Because because the bee survives, it's a two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we hate that bee. Well, now I need to know. We hate that bee. Um, yeah. But anyways, no, I just want to hit you up. I wanted, I wanted to get your thoughts on it. Um, but... It's so, it's so hard to talk about without spoiling too much of the, the fun because if anyone plays it, I want I want them to hear the uh, the mechanics and, and experience it for themselves, you know. Right. Yeah, definitely. If you can play that with somebody who also hasn't played it. Awesome, dude. Well, hopefully this turns out great in post editing. Is there anything else you want to say while you're on the air, Seth? Um. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, <no? laughs> Alright, all well, uh, we'll have you on next week to talk about Divinity. <laughs> will, I, will I see you Sunday? <laughs> Divinity. And uh, Stephen wants to know if he'll see, if he'll see you Sunday. Uh, so I just got my COVID shot, but if I'm feeling good, uh, yeah, I'll be there. Sweet! Yeah, there you go. Alright, Seth, uh, I, I won't see you later because the internet's down in my neighborhood and I can't get online. So I'll see you when I see you. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. yeah. Kisses. Later, dude. Later. <laughs> All right, you heard it from Seth himself. That was my co-op partner for It Takes Two. But no, I highly, highly, if you guys want to play that game, one of you got to buy it. I know it gets serious when I'm like, when I get on, I see both of them playing it, and I'm like, hey, hey can, I, he, can I get an invite? He said, China And invite. they just ignored me the whole time. <laughs> I'm like, can I, uh, we, invite? Didn't, we didn't mean it that way. It was just like, man, it would get heavy. It would get, like, there were some scenes where, and also, like, I didn't want to ruin anything. Because if you guys play, there's a reason I'm being so vague with these mechanics because there's so many things in the environment and so many things that you get to explore on your own that like you're rewarded for exploring and you get to interact with these little like creative worlds like yeah, like yeah. Rose's room. It's all like there's one area that's a pillow fort and there's one area that's like this little cardboard castle with these little people in it and oh man, I just totally forgot that. Spoiler alert! Spoiler. Alert. It turns into a top-down dungeon crawler at one point. Oh man! It, it does. <laughs> That's really I cool. forgot about that. All um, right, it's, all right, all right. Well, look, it, look. If it's it's only I guess forty dollars. Uh, it's a bargain bin. What if it's cross-platform? I don't know the answer to Probably that. Not. I don't know the mm. answer. Uh, well, me, I played on PS5 and Seth played on PS4. I don't know if that. I mean, it's PSN, but yeah. I don't know about like from PS to PC. But I mean, if not, just hook up the four. You can play yeah. on four. Um, I highly recommend it. Some, as, if one of you buys it, you both have it. So what I need, what I need, uh, PS Plus to play it because I don't have PS Plus. At this time. Mm. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Um, <laughs> but I mean, you could always. I mean, Seth is the he bought that copy because uh, he. I was telling him about it. He bought it. He's like, well, you bought a way out, didn't you? I was like. Did I? And he was like, yeah, well, he's like, I'll buy this one. So That's he, right, he did tell me he, that, yeah. he got it. Uh, I mean, if you really want to, you can play with Seth, but the magic is play, experiencing it for the first time with someone else. Sounds like it's bath time in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the, the magic of it is experiencing all for the first time with another person. Yeah. And I'm not going to tell you which one you want to pick. I'm not going to tell you, because okay. you only get to pick one. And if you pick up later, you can swap them. Right. But stick with the same character all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna tell you who you, who you want. They by the end of it, you'll you will not regret it. Unlike a way out, spoiler alert, one is cooler. Than right, the other. right, yeah. Uh, I, know, this I, one, I do know that. This one, and then the ending is so good. Please, please play okay. this game. Please all play right, this game. Right. Easily a contender for game of the year, but you have Jeez. to have a friend to play it okay. with. Okay, look into it. Anyway, oh, well. anyway, I mean, who knows? Maybe Jacob. Maybe you want to play with. Uh, I don't know. Some of us not Steve. Steve might not want to play with you. I'm just joking. Anyway. I mean, I don't mind playing it. I was joking. It's a really good game, y'all. It's really good. Um, like I said, the SSD spoils me, so now when I'm looking at my yeah. PS4, I'm like, you're just trash. <laughs> but don't say that on Facebook, you'll get banned. You're dead to me. Well, it's funny because me, me and Seth were playing, and uh, I was playing on PS5, and it wasn't loading. I mean, it had to load at the same speed, and it wasn't bad. The yeah. load times are really good. It's a really well put together game. Um, Yosef Faris does it again. Yeah, man. F the Oscars. There. <laughs> there it is. I'm and for it. some great Easter eggs in that game. Okay. Um, anyway, I think that's the show. Hey, 
Did you wa- Oh yeah. Thank you, Jacob. Okay. Thank you, Jacob. I want to know because I have no idea. The video game trivia card. If Did you, you know? If you forgot, because it's been a long show, the question, first question was, Bandage Girl is the girlfriend of which video game character? I'm surprised you guys don't know this Did one. We, we played it? No, but it's a pretty popular character. It is Meat Boy. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know he had a bandage girl. Question oh. number two. Which, I don't know this one. Which famous wrestler had a cameo appearance in Saints Row 4? John Cena? Never played it. I Rowdy played Roddy it. Piper. Oh. oh, that's cool. And did you know that Hulk Hogan did the voice of a character in Saints Row 3? That's an extra trivia fact that Brandon threw in. Boom. Out my brain hole. That's right. I have a lot of useless stuff up there. That's okay. Um, anyway, that's the show. Hey, did you guys watch the Mortal Kombat movie? If you haven't, go watch it and listen to my review. I did a solo episode, everybody. I saw yeah. that. I was yeah. like, I was like, yeah, yeah. we were doing this. Yeah, I wanted to because I had nothing better. To, I had nothing better to do that morning. Um, so yeah, go listen to that. And then also, Gamer Tales is mm-hmm. performing very well. It's a very cool show where we talk about. Uh, stories from our past that revolve around video games. We talked about video game rental stores and Blockbuster. We talked about Paper Mario. Mario and the Purple Mario. Yeah. I don't know what the next got, episode got is. Got more topics on the, um, on the way? Yeah, mm-hmm. sure, we got plenty. We got but the plenty. next topic is probably going to be the E3 hype. That'll be a little Jolly Gamer show episode. So. Yeah. You have to figure that out, guys. We'll have to increase that frequency a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I can play for next week if you want to do that. I don't know what happened. I had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. My ball went... Thanks, thanks so much for listening. Share this podcast with your friends. Share it with your family. If you're at church and you're shaking Share hands at communion, and say, hey, how nice to meet you. Listen to this show. It is not appropriate for church, but I want you to listen to it at work. And then, Pastor Steve, yeah. Pastor Steve, look, I just want to sit and make a testament to the crowd. Y'all watch the little Jolly, listen to the Little Jolly Gamer Show. And then also uh, share it with your pets. Share it with your parents. Share it with uh, share it with your garden helps the garden grow. When, yeah, when you get abducted by aliens, share it with them. Yes. Share it with your already got a couple children. aliens that listen Let to the show. Let them know there's no intelligent life on this planet. Share That's it with right. your unborn children. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, I'm Brandon. I'm Jacob. I'm Steve. We'll see you next time. Bye.